Hello, I'm Austin Townend. Welcome to the Bottle Cap Brigade. I usually give you guys a countdown, but not today. Uh, we're the best uh, D &D... I got nervous. <laughs> we're the best D&D campaign you'll ever encounter. We're the live stream that gets drunk, talks about D&D, &D, but doesn't play it right. That's right, the rules are just like the farthest left lane of the freeway. We pass on it. Oh, that's good. That's right. yeah, thank you. That was wow. solid. It's kind of a stab. Don't use that lane correctly at the same time, which drives me insane. <laughs> well, we were yeah, we just He'll let you know. Followers, so. <laughs> yeah. All Water. of our followers from 2T. <laughs> They're out there. Don't yeah. Get it together, you guys. Um, well, things that don't annoy me quite as much, let's introduce the Wildcat crew. Our first player has applied for visas mm. in every country in the world and has never been accepted. It's Austin Von Johnson as Aerodris. <laughs> <laughs> That's super true. I still can't get into the United Arab Emirates, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. Nice. Next I'm time. A, not my first like country name drop, and that's really impressive. Though it's like really specific. <laughs> Um, well, this ne uh, next member wakes up every morning, looks at himself, and says, Sam, I am. One day we'll learn who he's stolen an identity from, but for now, it's Sam Gates, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wow, look at those pearly whites. Wow. I have Invisalign. <laughs> you look Not a sponsor. <laughs> but could be. You would like to sponsor all of us. Yeah, I mean, fuck. I'll do it. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> moving on. People who, uh, okay, people would have nice things to say about him if he ever came up in a conversation. It's Joe Fritz, says Tax Lush Parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Doing something. The music kind of died too, so it's just all around weird. Like it was just a weird moment. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, our next person That's is. How I roll. Lead. Uh, the next person is the only man named after a female pop star and a type of bird. It's Taylor Hawker as Togu. <laughs> oh, I get I it. <laughs> yeah, only like I did my hour. classic like '90s sitcom <laughs> intro, right? Where you like, yeah. Oh, there's a camera. Hey. <laughs> Everywhere you look. Yeah. I threw like a frisbee. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, like well, you stuck in dog. Yeah. <laughs> we can I, riff on this for a I, while. For I know, sure. And I hate online because there's just no way to know which one of us is going to say the next joke. And so we're just like, ah. it's better. <laughs> it's better later in the night when we all had a few drinks because then you're like, fuck it, I'm saying the joke. And then you yeah. just say it out loud. It's like, <laughs> it's like I have no idea if anybody one. heard it. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. Every time. All right, well, our last member, she's a slick cat with entirely too many pairs of Ugg boots. It's Miranda Hake <laughs> of Lassio as Jolie. <laughs> Do you own when are you going to give mine back? <laughs> my yeah. Ugg boots. I like the way they make my ankle look slim, so never. <laughs> <laughs> They're That's why I Ugg need them. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, know I have big ankles. <laughs> Uh, well, Miranda, with your big ankles, can you uh, tell us uh, that thing you want to say always? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. big ankles. We believe deeply in one core principle. Dice are cool. They are pocket-sized tokens of creativity. They are an art and they are fun to share and collect. They thrill us when they deal out max damage. And we secretly love it when one of our friends compliments our new set. Our mission is to give you great new dice to show off and to give your friends dice envy. Ba 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 ba. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> so dice, dice envy dice. That was literally their mission statement. I didn't have to write anything. Huh. Got it off their website. There you go. Check out the link <laughs> down in the bottom of a place on the screen somewhere. <laughs> Use our affiliate link. Check out Dice Envy. They actually just came out with some really dope green dragon oh, dice that I yeah. definitely so have cool my eye looking. on. They are really cool. But check them out. They're a great company. They have... Um, a variety of dice, but also you can use um, or subscribe to monthly boxes, which I just learned about that are pretty neat. Um, check them out, diceenvy.com slash brigade. Thanks. Yeah, get it. Nice. That was awesome. Not very like creative in the sense that you didn't actually write anything, it sounds like, but it was awesome. I would say 10 out of 10. <laughs> I was creative because I went on their website. Yeah. I haven't read their so, mission statement yet. The first step of any research <laughs> that everyone skips, okay, go to the website. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, she well, used a voice. There. Double D out there throwing shade. Yeah. Jesus. That's what I do, man. I don't like these <laughs> Double D. I just want to clarify, but I will own it if I have no choice. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You just have the to fact say that you full name. sounds good. Just Double the, D. <laughs> just the fact that name. you said you don't like it has just solidified it forever. Great. That was mm-hmm. my hope. Yeah. I'll oh. still just call you Dungeon Daddy. <laughs> You can just cut Dan- Dungeon out, too, if you want. Um, and, <laughs> ooh, ooh, maybe not. Oh, I do want to tell you guys something interesting that happened. I do this workout thing, uh, like a group workout, like a total body workout thing. Okay, it doesn't matter. They have a workout in it specifically called a, uh, <laughs> a scarecrow, of which I could not pronounce correctly <laughs> back to the guy. And I was like, how many, how many square scrows are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like ten, and I'm like, oh, okay, and I'm like, I'm an idiot. Can we I'm talk about movies. how we need to make stoked I am? NPC. Well, yeah. yes, that too, and also that sound bite is the end of every single fucking video I put on our channel now. Every single one of them. Awesome. <laughs> if you guys, if you're watching our stream right now and you have no idea what we're talking about, go to our YouTube channel, check out like any of the videos that Sam just talked about. Also, uh, the best of Brick in the uh, special moments, you, well, it'll catch you up. Yeah, <laughs> catch everything you need. Yeah. All right, well, guys, without further ado, let's score some bottle caps. Welcome to episode 30, Long John Slinter. <laughs> that day. You've never done it <laughs> on time. <laughs> there was yeah. one time. I clicked, it like, I clicked it like four times and it was just silent. It's actually impressive how many times we have to wait in silence for you to do the horn. Like, it's just, it's, it's actually a thing now. It's like our, it's our, it, ha- our it has the, like, it's Inception movie horn, which I really love. And I just want to play it, like, while you're telling. Like, here, would you announce the name of the episode one more time? <laughs> do you actually want me to? Oh, yeah. Okay, welcome to episode 30, Long John Splinter. <laughs> it's just static. Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, I'm done. Uh, we're done with that. Episode 30. Uh, I just came. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy to say goodbye. Lord knows I've never been good at it. It's times like these that make you wonder about the purpose of life. An endless ebb and flow of life and death, ups and downs, and an ever-growing longing for friendship. Our heroes said goodbye to the great, powerful, and phallic-removing barbarian named Aw. The volume of tears shed by the group of friends could give the ocean a run for its money. As hard of times as they've encountered, hope always sits at the horizon. When one thing leaves, another arrives. As Ong departed from this great world of Magna, the talented and snotty sorcerer named Darrow arrived to complicate matters further. Toku and Erdris fought with the Lord of the Bay, a battle hard earned through bravery, courage, and a hard kick to the head. As these two and their newly found acquaintance Darrow met back with Tack and Jolie, they heard a scream. A shout from over the hill that sounded eerily like the small boy named Vint they had met earlier that day. At once, Eridris got to his feet and ran to the direction of the scream for help. After climbing over one tree hill, Eridris saw the sight of terror that lied before him. I do want to clarify that you guys made up one tree hill, right? Like, that was like a, that was like a forced thing on me. I <laughs> said it like ten times. Was it? Yeah, I didn't make that I up. I thought you just... Describe nope. a You're tree dead. on the hill, and then Austin von Johnson was like, One tree hill. <laughs> what oh, that wasn't me. Somebody else did it. It was a I'm... great reference. That's why I don't want to take credit for it. Oh my God, my head. Mm-hmm. I can't hear <laughs> <laughs> um, anything. I mean, like, if we're talking technicality, it was, Gary, uh, what was it? Uh, Gregory Prange that <laughs> created One Tree Hill. It wasn't us. So I'm just. Point no, of clarification. No, I'm, I'm glad you clarified. Yeah, yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure that you knew what was going on because I think it's really important, you know, that we yeah. have everything correct. Like, <laughs> I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Don't work. All of his phone sounds. All right. Well, Eridris, you go over one tree hill and you see Vint sinking in the mud and shouting for assistance. He's about three feet into the mud 
about up to his chest, and he can't seem to move. You also see an old cart in the mud about 15 feet behind him. And the whole muddy kind of like sinking area is probably a 60 by 60 foot in diameter. What would you like? Um, all right, I'm just, I'm just going to draw this picture. So 60, 60 feet in diameter. Where's Vint? Like right in the middle of it? Um, I'm going to say he's like 25 feet away from the edge. All right, 25 feet in. The closest and, to uh, um, and is the and is the cart like on the bank like or is it already in the mud? It is already in the mud. It doesn't seem to be sinking, but it's about fifteen feet behind him. All right, sweet. Um, uh, Vint, hold still. Um, and I want to I want to run and um, jump on the cart and then try to reach for him with my quarterstaff. Okay. Um... Jumping, I believe, is like just your strength total. So let's. What is your strength total? Uh, ten. So you can jump ten feet. Okay. Uh... I'm a very weak monk. <laughs> I didn't know strength. I didn't know strength was important. Who needs it? Um. Yeah. So if you run to the other side, I think you could. You could do that. Yep. So you make cool. it to the top. Like you like hit the side of it, and then you like pull yourself up, and you like get mm -hmm. to the top of that thing. And then what did cool. you want to do after? And uh, uh, I, I wanted to, like, uh, try to give him the end of my quarterstaff. Okay. Yeah, so you see him just struggling uh, to get, like, one arm out. Um, uh, he fails to get his arm out of the mud. Um, I, 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 I just want to yell, turn and yell back to the brigade. Can somebody come give me some assistance? I, I, I can't use my abilities anymore for a while. Um, I I'm just really want to yell, tired. <laughs> I want to yell out to, what's his name, Vint, right, Vint? Yeah. I want to yell out to Vint and be like, hey, you got this, bud, just kind of use your arm, wiggle out, and you can get it out, and then I'd like to give him Bardic Inspiration. Okay. Like semi rolls. So. Yeah. Can I do an assist on that, too, um, and use Shape Earth, and just kind of kick him out a little bit and roll my eyes as I do it? <laughs> yeah. Um, talk to me about Shape Earth. I can, uh, I can essentially anything within 30, 60 feet of me. I can, uh, don't check me on that. I can, uh, move dirt around yep. and uh, like make cover, uh, like make ledges. It can support up to five or 600 pounds. I think I'm not reading this directly. 1,080 pounds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 1,080 pounds. Uh, here, let, let me read it for you. I, so, I am reading. So, yeah. You can move a five foot <laughs> 30 feet. dirt or stone within 30 feet of you. Mm -hmm. um, this is an interesting scenario because it's not just dirt, is it? It's mud. Loose earth. Yeah. Yeah. You so basically have to Avatar make... the last airbender. <laughs> I have shape water, too. I can... Yes. Whatever. <laughs> you can manipulate stones, um, huh? Hmm. Yeah. What would Toph do? Uh, yeah. I'm going to say that you're able to move. Uh, there's like some uh, like uh, some rocks in there and you and you do like move like a large rock that like props him up another like two feet. So I, I just roll my eyes and say, God, this is going to be a long journey. <laughs> OK, <laughs> um, and then he's going to attempt to reach for it with a 1d4 at it. D6. 1d6. I think it's d6. I think you're right. Um, no, I know it's a d6. Yeah, it's a d6 for sure. I think it's our first drink with a nat 1. Hey! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh. Combined. For those of you watching at home, if there's any new viewers, we have a... Fun little rule here with the Bottle Cap Brigade. Anytime we nap roll, either a 1 or a 20, uh, everybody takes a drink. So those at home, cheers for that one. Cheers. That one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really yes. good assist, though, Taylor, because he got a 7 thanks to you, but unfortunately natted 1. So uh, he, like, is up further and reaches for your quarterstaff and falls into the mud. And now he's, like, face first in it, like, freaking out. Um. Cool. Can somebody come down here and, and help 
help me out. I, I, I need to reach is in this, and grab him. Is this like sinking sand? And I'll like kind of start walking down towards you. No, 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 no. I want to grab her by her like belt or whatever and stuff. Like, no, I don't no, do no, that no. like walking thing where I'm like walking in place no, but you're no. pulling me. <laughs> I'm also I'm a gnome. Mud, though. <laughs> I'm also a gnome, so I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna hold you back all that much. It's just gonna be like no. Can I do a, like a nature check to see if this is sinking sand? You might have already said that. That's my bad. No, go ahead. I don't think you've really clarified. I guess there was assumptions at play here. Uh I really had like never ending story in my head. That scene with the horse. Sixteen <laughs> uh, for nature to see. Yeah, it. Um, yeah. It. it hmm. oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Yeah. You're you're aware that this is uh, some sort of swamp entity. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yikes. Um. Y'all, I don't. Maybe have a rope that we can like throw the kid or something. I don't uh, have. I I got this, and I'd like to take Tensor's floating disc that I summoned last oh, the CD. session and <laughs> yeah. uh, like have, make it. Yeah, make it shove itself underneath. What whatever his name is, and lift him up. Be it. I have a feeling I'm gonna be looking up spells for the rest of this campaign now, thanks to. <laughs> Maybe I'll learn all of them eventually because of it. You will be forced yeah. to. Yeah, you're going to have to. How much Sorry. weight can be lifted up from this thing? Yeah, uh, with Tensor's disc, that's up to 500 pounds. Yeah, wow, that's a lot. You can, yeah, all right. Um, yeah, okay. Well, uh, you do go underneath like a lot of this. Like It's like spraying this mud all over the place. Um, and as you start to like, go, like move this, like, is it spinning or is it just like a disc that just floats somehow? Just like a disc that floats around. Okay. You like start to go underneath it. Um, and you just see like the mud, like ripple unnaturally. Um, and, uh, yeah. And then you don't see the disc come back out. I'm just going to light is... a torch on fire. Maybe it's fire that this thing doesn't like. And I light a torch on fire and try and like put it by the mud. Okay. To see yeah. if it, like, hurts it. Yeah, you put it into the mud, um, and then you do see, like, the mud literally, like, move away from it, and then come back over it, and then it goes out. Oh, oh Ergis, Ergis, it doesn't seem to lack fire uh, too much. Maybe what, we can... What do, you, what do you mean, it? What, what are you talking about? This thing is alive. The amount of time I've been living in the woods, there are some serious entities all around us, and this does not seem natural. Oh, could you throw like good. a flame ball or does anybody have a fireball that they could i don't know throw and we could lasso him out you all are so um, needy and <laughs> I, I just cast useless. fireball at it <laughs> <laughs> okay is this stupid Jeez. that we're like trying to hurt mud with fire i don't know <laughs> <laughs> better than water <laughs> uh what, what is is it wisdom no, so firebolts just I do a spell attack on it. I never um, they're so different every time. <laughs> yeah, and I was fourteen to hit. Oh you, you did fourteen? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's do damage. Um Okay. Uh eight. Right on. So you shoot this fireball at the at this like pool of mud. Pretty large pool of mud. And uh, it just hits it, and you see, like, where you hit turn black and, like, crackle into, like, it's solid. Um, and it kind of, like, falls apart. And then quickly, like, mud takes over that section. Um, oh, damn. And it's almost like a, a gurgle. <laughs> like, you just see a ripple over the whole thing. And this, uh, like, muddy vine comes flying out and grabs against Ergis's leg. Oh shit! Yeah. Um, I a, want to. I want to try to just like swing at the vine with my quarter staff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, let's do an attack roll then. Uh, nat twenty. Oh! <laughs> I think you're gonna hit. Drink. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> everybody. Did we get a nat one and a nat twenty already? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
I'm black and be a good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this the swamp thing also natted twenty on Erigus when it grabbed its leg, but it was like a weird really? grapple thing. But it didn't really care. Yeah. Well, I will drink another. <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right. Um. So, uh, on Nats, I just I just roll two of my regular dice. Right. Yeah, um, double the dice. So you'd roll double it once the dice. And double it. Roll it once and double it. Cool. Um, yeah. I, that is a total of freaking that, um, and then that, and that, and then that. Eight damage. One of it's acid. Nice. Oh yeah. Right on. Um, yeah. So you like, whoosh, you like bring it down on this thing, um, and yeah, it just hits it. You hear like a. As it like pulls its like viney thing back into the water, um, can everyone make a uh, a strength saving? Ooh. Oof! I don't wanna. And okay. just uh, yeah, anyone anyone under twelve, so eleven through one. Nice. Maybe. I got a ten. Okay. Um, I got twelve. <laughs> Yes, you guys all. Uh, so you guys just see like all these like like slimy vines come flying out of this thing, um, and it grabs onto toes ah. on your left bicep. Um, tack two hits you on the legs and like sweep you onto the ground. Um, and Scully <laughs> one like literally grabs uh, like around your left thigh. <laughs> Let's create an order um. system and roll initiative. Hey, <laughs> smart. I got an 11. 18. 19. Okay, which one you got? 18? Taylor. Okay. And then you got 19, Jolie. All right, Erges. Nine. Stack. 15. All right. Uh, Jolie, you're up. Togu, you're on deck. All right. Uh, immediately, I'm going to try and cast Guiding Bolt. Um, where's Vint at? In in he, relation, like, inside this little mud puddle? Um, yes. He is about eight feet away from Eridris. And uh, so he's near the cart. But he's also fully emerged in the mud now and screaming. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on the fucking <laughs> mud. <laughs> And I'll do it at second level, so I gotta make a range spell attack. Nineteen. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit. What are you shooting oh, for? Yeah. Just the whole um, puddle. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I only have one d six, so this will take a second. Two, three, four, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. Points of damage. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, and the next, and the next person who, if anybody was to attack the mud, gets advantage. Word. Yeah, on their attack roll. Nice. Um, so you hit this thing, and uh, you just hear like this, like is this weird motion that's going on in this puddle, um, and all the vines that were on you guys uh, pull back into it, like they let go of you and it goes back into the water and you just see vent go Wah! and get pulled in um and you just hear those noises Whoops. and like movement for a little while um and then uh silence like absolutely nothing for a couple of seconds and then suddenly I would like to like, over- right, guys hurt in the mud does not <laughs> seem to work um and he is pulled under all right <laughs> what do we see then you guys see um, a little child go flying out of the water and land on top of Joey. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Just kidding. <laughs> it did work. Hey there, Vince. Um, and I'm going to kind of like walk away from the little mud thing. Hi, let's get you cleaned up. Do you want some water? Are you thirsty? Do you want some jerky? You just went through a lot, little buddy. No. I don't want anything to do with liquids ever again. You have jerky? 
I do have jerky. I do. <laughs> and I give him a uh, tuna jerky. Tuna jerky. <laughs> <laughs> it's so no, no, delicious. That's I've never had that. that. That sounds like something. Well, uh, yeah. yeah he, he just starts much on the thing. He's like, <laughs> and he like wipes the tears off his eyes. Like, thank you. Here, have some chocolate too. You have chocolate? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I always got chocolate in my pocket. <laughs> Can I see your inventory list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. It's chocolate, white chocolate. Purple chocolate, pink chocolate, did chocolate. You pig? Did you say pink pink. chocolate? Pink. I think I did say pig, but I meant to say pink. So pig chocolate too. Hey man, <laughs> you guys, you guys are forcing food. It's just bacon. <laughs> yeah, they're like the foods in the world that I didn't know about. You know, like it's cool. I, I I'm excited to to see all these things and and when I gave you chocolate and, and tuna jerky, but I'm sure that I did. We'll go to like a food festival. <laughs> <laughs> okay um, um yeah he's just munching on that and like his eyes are slowly drying yeah. i uh i hop off the cart uh whenever i saw him and, and walked over to join the rest of the brigade and like Vin- vint are, are you okay how are you feeling better that's that that tuna jerky is is actually pretty good it's um, kind of gross <laughs> but i like it well, different palettes. Um, no, I think everybody yeah. doesn't like it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, sure. Um, well, um, guys, we, uh, we, we, we have a lot we got to do. Um, I think before Vint gets into any more trouble, we should probably take him to, to go and see Ivan Tor. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, yeah. I need to get out of these woods. Excuse me. Um, I need to. Mm. I need to get back home. Uh, I don't know what this Ivan tour is that you're speaking of, but I desperately don't want to do that. Wait, hold a second, Taro. I thought you were looking for your necklace. It's not home. Isn't the it, necklace out here? It is definitely somewhere up north. Uh, definitely somewhere that's not wherever the fuck I am. I I don't even know honestly where I am at this point. So, so, then, so, then, you, so then you don't know if it's not here if you don't know where you are. I was flying with a gargoyle for a solid few hours. I am nowhere where I need to be right now. That sounds like a very fun pastime. What is so was special I, about this necklace? Well, I saw a couple of people get cut in half for it. It was horrifying at best. Um, and it is one of my family's heirlooms. It was passed down generation after generation of uh, the Rothsbrooks, and uh, if I don't get it back, they will likely murder me. It's magical. Your, fa- your family will murder you? Yeah, uh, more in the uh, um, l- uh, figurative sense, not not quite so literally, oh. but they will definitely be fucking pissed. My mom already wants to see my scarred face cut off and replaced with a new face, but I told her no. Oh, wow. Yikes. Are you sure you want to help him out? I mean, why don't you just leave them? They don't seem well, very hospitable. They pay for everything, so I have all of the money. Well, I mean, looking well, something too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Daro, um, listen, uh, sorry to hear about that, and uh, I appreciate you helping out, Vint. Um, but uh, yeah, if, I guess if you have some other issues to tend to, uh, you can. Why don't you just fly home on your disc and uh, leave us to take care of our things? Well, my disc can't necessarily fly. I, I need help to get back home. I don't know where I am. So uh, if you all want to help me uh, get back home, that would be great. Uh, if we need to make a little pit stop on the way for your small friend, that's wonderful. Um, we have quite a few yes. pit, pit stops we need to make. Um, so if... Uh, I don't know. I, I just turned to the rest of the brigade, and I'm like, I, I don't know what you guys think, um, but uh, uh, Darrow, I, uh, I think that if uh, if you want our help, um, you're going to have to have a little bit of patience while we take care of the things that we're obligated to do. Will Hopefully there be we go north. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Several of us are alcoholics, so. Uh, <clears throat> 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we sleep in beds, or is this going to be a camping adventure? No promises. Sometimes we, sometimes we sleep because we're all knocked out. Okay. Uh, does someone at least have a blanket for my desk so I may sleep on it? I look around at the rest of the brigade. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> I will be needing one of those, little man. What was your name? There you go. Tack. And it, okay, it's it's Tack. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, just wanted to make sure. It's pretty easy. Wonderful. I used to well, be a boy, in case you're curious. I, I was, a little, I was Something seemed a bit off. Something seemed a bit off. Um, well, I, I mean, I guess. I, well, I'll, I'm still I'll walk a boy. around with you guys for a bit. Give me beer uh, and then help me get back home at some point uh just make sure to not be dirty and gross around me if you can avoid it i mean ooh, not um, not, not to kind of not to kind of be the asshole in this group but i just want you to know that we don't have to let you come with us you get that right excuse me um i am dara rothsbrook yeah, heard. of the rothsbrook line is not the mud only, still around <laughs> <laughs> is the mud puddle still around yes i want to sneak away and grab like a handful of mud <laughs> while she's doing while that he's, I, while I, he's yeah I, I just keep on going like i uh successfully graduated from sorcery school even after a massive injury uh i was top in my class in mud magical fight! studies <laughs> and i'm gonna throw the mud in his face <laughs> And then I definitely just keep picking up mud and just throw it at everybody. Ain't nothing more fun than a uh, mud fight. I need to change the pace right now. Does wow. shape does shape earth work on it now? Can I pick up some kind of loose, dirty it's, mud? No, no, you can't. Oh, okay. It's oh, dirty. then I grab a couple handfuls and fling it back. Um, Jesus, where is my Tara? All You're of my with feelings. us now, so you got to get a little bit dirty. You're going to have a good time. We're kind of going through a bit of a rough patch, but we're here to have fun. And if you can't have fun and if you're too serious, you can maybe see your way out. And I you, think like, There's a song about us that talks about how dirty we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vin! Vin, why don't you see it? <laughs> and I turned to Vin, I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> um. Yeah. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Well. Um. Yeah. He turns to you guys. Uh. And, and he's like, "Well, I'm. I'm kind of. I don't know if I feel like singing right now." Oh yeah. Sorry. I forgot you just went through a lot. But oh, I'm a weird. Sorry. <laughs> But since you asked, I, I guess I can. Great. Well. Let it rip, buddy. When you're feeling out of it and you're kind of in a fit. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. When you're scooping over a bucket and you just say, fuck it. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. The bottle cap That's so here. nice. That's huh. It hits a little different. <laughs> it sure did. You know, it gets different every it's, time. It's yeah. not as good as the last one. That's that's barely about out. us. It sounds like you just tacked on the Battle Cat Brigade to a completely <laughs> separate song. I'm hmm. a kid. Well You're kind of <laughs> you're kind of a dick. I really liked you at first, but I think I like Togu the most now. <laughs> That's Your fine. song was about diarrhea. <laughs> okay, let's 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 get walking. Maybe. And I'd, I'd just like uh, to say, really quick, I understand that you all don't need my company. I can be quite fun. Just get, just don't, just give me a bit. I'm I'm quite on edge right now, so I appreciate your patience. Don't be dicks. I wanna okay. I wanna walk up to Daro and just like, like chest him and be like. I, I was sort of kidding there, bud. <laughs> Just thanks for, you know, kicking that dude in the face back there. 
you can join us in to uh, town. And if if you feel like you need to go, we'll help you get wherever you need to go. And if you want to hang out with us for the evening, I would love that. So if you're chesting me, I'd, I'd love to try to pick you up and fail miserably because I have like <laughs> six strength. <laughs> I, I do want to clarify so that feeble. he's like a super tall ASMR and you're a gnome. So like, I'm just imagining either you like on the ground being like. Yeah, that was, that's it. Awesome. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. yeah. You feel intimidated and you attempt to pick him up. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like Can I resist? It's a, yeah, it's a grapple. So you're technically doing a strength contest. <clears throat> so All right. You, I have minus two to my strength. So you have good odds. <laughs> I got a two total. So. <laughs> no way! Because I also got a two! <laughs> <laughs> it's a tie? It ends up being a very awkward hug. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of hug each other. He oh, like yeah, slid down his chest a little bit. <laughs> I don't know the ruling on ties on grapple contests, but that's what I'm imagining is Daryl like picks you up and you equally like hold his arms. So he's like, you're, he's picking you up, but his arms are like hurting. You're like squeezing his arms to death. It's like That's the great. end of Step Brothers. That's great, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to like look yes. at you like, would you put me down, please? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about sorry about that. I first round's on me. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and then I and then I want to as we're walking, I just want to mention, like, hey, I also know what you mean about uh, family heirlooms, and then I want to undo church key and like spin it in the fingers be like huh, i've got one too and i'll put them That's back in badass Thanks, can i touch sir. it no oh <laughs> oh you can't um while you guys are showing off your things it starts to rain <laughs> oh well too oh, bad we didn't really go in for that mod fight earlier that kind of cleaned itself yeah, off. Yeah, it was awkward. Point. It was just me. <laughs> I thought it was a good <laughs> idea, <everybody>. Jolie. <laughs> Thanks. I thought I could maybe yeah. break it up with a little bit of fun. We never but, really. No, it looks like that. we don't need a shower. <laughs> What's great about this is I, I like played combat music, fine. and then we just moved on, and I was like, I'll just change the track. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like somebody watching what just happened from like a distance, where it's like we just fought a monster, and then everybody's like chesting up and fighting each other and then Miranda's yeah. just like this little kids who like throwing mud at someone and then like, them, they all look at her and then like look away and keep talking anyway yeah it started to rain you guys are getting soaked um yeah how double d how far are we from from a town. Is it Souther that we're closest to? Yeah, so you're right outside Upper Souther, uh, which you know very well you're not welcome at any longer. Um, and you're like five or six miles to make your way into uh, Lower Souther. Um, and so it's kind of, it's disconnected somewhat. Like it's an entire marshland, right? But, um, mm. But there are like buildings and different things that connect it because it's all just a mess. Like there was clearly the entire peninsula uh, didn't used to have any land, right? Or it used to be all water because of shipwrecks everywhere and like wreckage. It's just like a weird place. Well, we're already soaked. We might as well just start making our way to Lower Souther and find Ivan Tour. I'm up for it. Does anybody need to rest? Yes. I, yeah. I could use a bit of a nap if we're being honest. Um, uh, I want to take a look around to see if there's any sort of shading or materials we could use to kind of put together a camp. Uh, I added a one, so there's nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. You just come back with like oh, a leaf and a one. stick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you go and like look around, and you just see like occasional little trees, and then lots of like mud puddles and crap, and like. How far away is town again? Sorry. Well, you're like you're literally miles. yeah. Oh wait, from Lower South, or yeah. Mm. Are well, you all can go to? Room. We can get a room at an inn or something. 
I don't know, lay low. Yes, I, I, I mean, literally, I'll do anything to get out of this rain. Um, <laughs> uh, so wh- whatever you guys want. What time is it during the day, Double D? I feel like we're in, like, the afternoon. I'm going to say, like, 4 o'clock. Okay. Okay, so if we walk, we'd most likely make it, like, at dusk. Give yeah. or take. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Dara, I mean, what do you guys think? You just want to walk and then rest once we get there? Yeah. Let's use That's the fine desk by me. As, a, as an umbrella. Do I do ah. I still have my desk? Um, no, it was completely enveloped. Fuck. Yeah. Well, so are you gonna get it out of the mud there? That's the yeah, because yeah. so in the description of that disc, yeah. it uh, it won't get more than twenty feet away from me. Um, and there's if it gets a hundred feet away from me because like an object eats it or something, mm-hmm. then it then it goes away. Cool. But I, I don't know if that happened or not. So it's like um, it it's, it, it, unless you were to dive in there and figure out the source of the issue, it, it's definitely uh, not exposed to open air. Okay. I got an idea. Let's dive in there, you guys. <laughs> just kidding. That's not All of us. Head air first. just does not say that. <laughs> well, fuck cool, it. So I guess we're walking then. Let's walk. Let's, let's get it. Okay. And we're walking. And we walk. Great. Okay. So you guys um, are walking through like the mud. I mean, you guys are absolutely drenched and it is uh, like your, all of your boots are completely full of rain and mud. You're dirty everywhere. I mean, there's just no escaping it. Um, and as you guys are walking, I say a couple miles in, so maybe like six, six o'clock now, um, you do see this weird little like stone building. Um, and it, it, it kind of looks like a little, uh, it has an opening and you can see it just has stairs that go down. Hey guys, look, it's a building. Yeah, why don't you guys, uh, why don't you guys all just do like a history roll? Right. Nat 20! Oh, right. shit. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody else needs to roll. Um, I know my history. By the way, yeah, yeah, you do. Study up, kids. Um, <laughs> Mac, you're like that's a fucking crypt. Like it's very clear to you. Like that's a crypt. <laughs> this this doesn't look good. It's exactly what the DM said. It was a crypt. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, it's a crypt. Wait a sec. This is a crypt. I mean, guys, we're soaked. Should we just go get some? Relief from the rain and just go in there. Yeah, I. Th- I mean, um, also, it... did Calvin uh, Toga didn't Calvin say that Ivan was into necromancy? Was it Ivan or was like his brother or something like that? No, I, I, Ivan himself. He's a. He he knows he knows a thing or two about necromancy, and that's why he. Right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. maybe we'll find him yeah. in there. <laughs> if he's yeah. a mage, he and I will get along quite well, especially if he's a necromancer. I fucking love necromancers. I fucking love them. Great. Maybe before we go into this tomb, we should check if there's traps or or anything. I don't know. Does it look safe? Yeah, who's... Okay, yeah, I'll help out. I'll just I do detect too. magic, too. Hmm. Okay, so um, you guys are just trying. To, well, the other uh, Jolie and Erdris, you guys are just trying to do like an arcane check or something. Or what yeah, we, I mean we're just checking for traps. We're just making sure. Yeah. Like, okay. So you guys just we don't walk in maybe. and then like spears impale yeah. us. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Why don't you both uh, do that? Investigation cool. roll or whoever wants to. Um, I got a sixteen. Uh, that's higher than mine. So. Oh. Um, and yeah, okay, so you guys don't notice, uh, wait, no, who, who, who rolled what? I got a 16. I, I got a four, so. 
Air just, you're like, you walk up to it, you're like, this look around for a safe. second, and you're like, looks clear as day, and then, Jolie, you walk up, and like, literally, you stop Air just as he's about to like, step, or like, put his hand <laughs> on this rock that clearly is, could move in, is it a, it is a button, and so like, oh, you pull God. him back as he presses it, and this arrow shoots, it goes, ding, to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all, um... That's a weird trap. <laughs> <laughs> we might want to be careful going in this... <laughs> Uh, Place. Darrow, you definitely, you're, as you watch that, you're not even, like, uh, paying attention to the fact that this dude you don't know almost died, because you're, like, this, like, you're just feeling all of this weird magic energy coming from, uh, in there, in the crypt. Well, you guys, uh, there is definitely some magical energy in here. Uh, it seems like that was relatively dangerous. Uh, I would recommend, uh, that we proceed with, can I tell the kind of like magic that it is um like can i deal uh blah 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 blah, blah. It, yeah the school of magic so yeah i i guess i don't know all of them but i'll say this it feels like two different energies going on at once um and one feels very like necrotic um okay. and then the, the other one is like quite mysterious and strange Okay. Well, um, it doesn't seem super evil if you're a necromancer. It seems like normal, n normal evil that's going on around here. Uh, and uh, I mean, maybe some necromancy, maybe some, I don't know, divination, some illusions. I, I think we're good. We can at least get some rest in there uh, if you all need to. I, I fucking don't want to be wet anymore. So That's fair. Uh, and yeah. I'm feeling, I'm feeling actually completely rested, so I'd be happy to take the first watch when we get down there, guys, too. Right. Well, Vent, be very, very careful. And, um, and if, and if you, and if you notice anything, Vent, I know you're, a, you're a big fan of, of Ivan. Um, if, uh, if you recognize anything in here, uh, definitely let us know. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, so Jolie, um, you saw that stone on the wall. Uh, do you want to go first? Do you think you'd be able to catch anything else we see in there? Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. I will okay. definitely go first. Uh, I think with with your your first roll, I'm going to I'm going to just make it the, like like passively. Actually, what do you even have a, uh, your passive perception? How do you calculate that? 10 plus something? Or? I really don't know, yeah. Wisdom. It's wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> 14. Yeah, you're good. You just, you like notice two other little traps and you point them out along the way. Um, one trap here and one trap there. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> yeah. And you guys keep descending. Like it, what it does is it goes down and then it's like a flat hallway and then down again and then a flat hallway. And then you guys reach this this much larger room. Um, and you just see, uh, it, it, like, I don't know, like stone coffins, basically, that are built into the side of the wall. Um, and there are about uh, four on each side of the wall, so eight total. Um, and then uh, on the far side of the wall is just like two torches, and um, they're both lit. And... Uh, then, like, you see in between those two torches is, like, this uh, stone door that seems to be, like, pushed open that looks like a wall, but clearly had been uh, opened. Uh, this is kind of weird, guys. Uh, I want to take a look around DM and see if I can see any traces of traffic, like uh, footsteps or hmm. something that somebody left Some to see trance. if somebody's there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do investigation again. I rolled a natural 19. So. Uh, 23. Cool. Um, yeah, man, you're like looking around. He's a really good investigator. Yeah, no, he's good. <laughs> Plus four? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he pulls out a um, magnifying glass. He's like, yeah, I he should be a detective. Actually, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Can we have an entire one shot just dedicated to like Detective Togu on the case? <laughs> Burn yeah. Yeah. Here, gum. Burn All right, here, Gumshoe. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we'll just play jazz the whole time. 
So we just, uh, we just do like a film noir of Togo. Yes, like, yes. We'll make it, it was black the first and white, time too. I'd ever seen a dame like this walk into a place like that. <laughs> I knew the way that she walked in. There was something about her that I recognized, but couldn't quite put my finger on. Sorry. Jenna! <laughs> that was, we did, that we was did the lightning in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to expand on it. Don't let it die. Uh, <laughs> Togu, yeah, you're, like, so you're, like, you're looking around, um, and you do kind of, like, notice, like, some dust has been moved. Like, you can see that there's shapes of footsteps that have removed the dust. Um, and they seem to have, like, gone in into, like, just about every coffin, looks like, walking around. And um, then it clearly went over to, like, one of the torches, which you can also tell that one of the torches is pulled. Um and then it, then the footsteps like go into this little like opening in the door or in the wall that became uh, a jar. The size of the footsteps. Can I rec- can I recognize like Yeah, how big yeah. are the footsteps? Sorry. Yeah, you you rolled really well um and there uh it definitely seems like some sort of wolf or variant. Oh, so it's like animal footsteps. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I'm going to tell that to the rest of the crew and then point out the light or the switch and then the door. Uh, guys, um, looks like there's some sort of like animal track on the ground. And uh, I think it went back into that secret door back there. An animal went into the secret door. That's, that's a little peculiar, right? I mean, yeah. That's a smart animal <laughs> i just look up in the corner <laughs> should we maybe just it? block the entryway so it doesn't come back and fuck us up or do you guys want do you guys want to go try to see what it is um uh, i'm just sitting here with a cat face like you know, I don't want to oh judge. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't want to judge. <laughs> I don't, um, just because maybe it has some animal-like form, uh, perhaps it's it's not uh, 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 evil. Um, and I and I I look over at Togu. And I'm like, right, Togu. I was Between ignoring him. people. What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. What would you guys like to do then? <laughs> I mean, what if, if you all think that it, I, because I kind of want to meet whatever sorcerer is here. If he has some <clears throat> rituals that I can learn, that would be wicked beneficial. Maybe I can teleport or something. Um, Vince, yeah. I'm kind of curious to see where this thing leads to. Vince, do you know anything about maybe Ivan Tor being a werewolf or something? Oh, um, I, I, I've heard he's he's quite magical, but I, I don't think he's he's a, a, a wolf. No, 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 it's a werewolf. It's like a human and a wolf. It's it's a whole thing. Oh, I don't, I don't know. You know, hey Togu, hypo- yeah, hypothetic, hypothetically speaking, if if Calvin told us to track down his brother Ivan because of your duck feet. Do you think that maybe the reason he wanted us to track down Ivan was because maybe Ivan just has wolf feet? What? That is a that is that is a hell of a point there. Just, <laughs> I guess we're exploring then, huh? I'm I'm just spitballing. <laughs> uh, Tack, Julie, what do you think? You want to keep exploring? Or do you guys want to close the door and camp out for the evening? What if we just peeked around the door before committing? I think yeah, that's a good idea. We got I'm, Vint. Yeah. I just want us to be more cautious than anything. I'm running low on spells. I'm a little drained. Yeah, me too. Um, but also, we've been through some shit, so I'm just like, fuck it. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of in a weird mood. <laughs> we can yeah, rest. Let's, let's let's take a nap, and then we can go see what the fuck is going on. How does that sound? I don't know. if I mean, if we take a nap here, that's like... What if it comes back and it is bad? And it, that's we should probably confirm what it is before we go sleeping. All right, 
I, I'm I fine. Know. Let's do it. I'll I'll, I'll sure. go first, and I just Jolie, like to I just like to go. You for stay it. in the you stay in between us, okay? Okay. Also, tack your hurt. I can heal you real quick for a little bit. That would be so nice. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even realize. He, he's I been just came back from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Uh, here, and I kind of rub your temples a little bit, and you get eight HP back. <laughs> the old temple rub. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I went to school to be a massage. A massage. A massage. I am a massage, massage juicer. <laughs> you know what? In this, in, this world, in this world, people that give massages are called misogynists. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, we got a frozen. Um, we got a frozen, Jolie. Oh, oh sad. Uh, I mean, it frozen. Really. It froze in a good spot, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now oh, he's back. back. God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I hate it because it like slowly gets slower and slower, and I just feel like I'm like leaving you guys in space. Like, I have no <laughs> idea what you're saying. Um, so I missed that. But... Good times. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you're you were you were trained to become a misogynist, is uh, is what you yeah, missed. Yeah. So. No, <laughs> misog- <laughs> misogynist. I said that wrong too. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, I'm a sucergist. A massage. Yeah, I'm yeah. a sucergist. Woo! Uh, All right. That's what I am. Oh, All right, let's peek around this fucking door. You guys look around <laughs> this door, or at least you start to get close to it. Uh, is it Darrow or Darrow? I keep saying this wrong. Darrow. 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 Oh, Darrow. Darrow. Sorry. Um, so Darrow's first, right? And he's. Uh, you guys start to get close to this thing. Um, and I'm going to say that all of you guys hear this, but you guys, uh, just hear like, like some coughing, like, (laughs) (laughs) oh, hairpin, I think we found it. We stuck gold on this one. And with that, we're going to go to break. Uh, we will see you guys (laughs) very, very soon. We're going to take a quick five minutes break and love you, proud of you. See you soon. All right, and we're back in. No warnings today from me, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even play music. Like I'm, I'm just a mess. You know, I'm just clicking stuff. Apparently, so uh, I'm all about being professional. Fire! Yeah, just killing, just killing it. it. Um, well, killing welcome it. back. Um, if you guys haven't already, you need to get some new dice from Dice Envy. So you need to go to diceenvy.com/slash the bottle cap brigade. Go check it out. They're dope. Sam, can you show them the dice that you got? And anyone else that did get dice, I can't remember. But those things yeah, are I got some. insane. Please. Yeah, I just got these today and opened them up. They're metal. So they're super so shiny and shit. Sick. Mm. And they're heavy as fuck. And also a bunch of them. Buy them. <laughs> right All on. No, they're, them. they're dope. All uh, the dice. Do it. definitely need to get a pair, uh, if you know what I mean. So, Anyway. Uh, hey. That's what Ashley says. <laughs> I, I wanted to make jokes that I'm like, you know what? I won't do that to her. I will never include her in this. Actually, I already made a joke with her once as the opening, and she watched that episode and she commented to me. So I learned my lesson. <laughs> I also said something about, do you guys remember last time when we talked about pickles and peanut butter? Um, and I was talking about how someone I knew did that and I couldn't look at them the same. They literally sent me on their like they put it on their story and sent it to me on instagram of videoing me saying that seriously and i could not believe that that happened right so she's probably gonna find watch the stream they that's must. the lesson that's the lesson here austin you need to talk shit about all of your friends so that yeah. all of your friends will watch our stream yeah. <laughs> that's what needs to happen okay well let me i prepared the list so uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's 
dive back in to the session. You guys uh, walk up to this creepy, you're kind of in this creepy crypt. Creepy crypt. And creepy crypt. <laughs> so <Okay>. creepy. <laughs> it's a creepy <laughs> crypt. <Yeah>. And... <laughs> You're idiots. I love oh, that. Man. That was horrible. <laughs> like inside jokes no one knows about. So you guys are in this thing, um, and you go up like up to this door, and you just hear all these weird noises, but you, you do hear, Oh, Hairpin, I think we're out of something here. <laughs> oh, it's this fucking guy. Let's, let's sneak up on him. What, what <laughs> fucking guy? What fucking guy is this? Don't uh, he's, worry. I, f- I forget the dude's name. He is a powerful wizard. You're probably going to like him. He's, oh, okay, he's, yeah. He's responsible for this and for those. And I, I point at my face and Togu's feetsies. I want to be his friend. I want to be his Your friend Your hairstyle right now. and pedicure? Yeah. Oh. Feel, feel the conditioner. Get your hair done. And then your nails did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's a shit ton of mud in there. Um, <laughs> Hang it out. All right. Um, well, the we we don't want to startle the wolf. Uh, he has a pet wolf that uh, thankfully was on a chain the last time I ran into him. Um, so uh, we need to be ready for that. I can cast speak with animals if need be. Not sure if Ooh, that'd but... be good. Uh, probably it might. It might. He talks a lot with him. So he probably speaks okay. Okay. Uh, uh common. Cool. Um Let's let's open the door. <laughs> it's open. Yeah. So the door is like a jar. I would say like maybe like two feet, but it's a huge stone door, right? So you could like slip in. Oh okay. uh, I wanna I wanna look around through it and see if I can see the wolf. Okay, yeah. So you poke your head around, and so at your first, like, the, the room is, like, slowly revealing itself, right? And um, as, as, you're, as you're looking around first, um, it's, it's kind of like this circular room. It has crypts again, um, and then it has one kind of in the center towards the back that seems to be some sort of, like, stone coffin. Um, and then as you keep going around, uh, on, on the left side of the room, you do see a tail starting to form. And as you continue to look, you see uh, this this little like older, creepy kind of mangly goblin like searching through some books on, on this sh- uh, like bookshelf on the side. Um, and he's like with what one of his hands like running through these books and checking it through, and then like petting this wolf, and then going back to going through stuff. Would, would you like to introduce me to him or should I just go say hi or um was I, I figured since wait was Togu was peeking was anybody else peeking I wanted to go in order of like RP initiation <laughs> okay I'm gonna say that Togu just did that and then like turns back at you guys <clears throat> what so what'd you find so the that little goblin dude is looking through the bookshelves, and it looks like the wolf is right at his feet. Just like, just like chilling. He just, he's just chilling. Uh, I, I can only see kind of his, his, the ass end of him. Yeah. Well, well, maybe since wasn't... you guys know him, maybe you guys should just go uh, in and say, "Hey, it's us. Remember us." Uh, maybe. Ooh, Erdris, <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> okay. Should we scare him? Probably oh, not. <laughs> Well, um, well, I, I, I mean, I could be a voice in the tomb and see uh, if uh, we can see what he's doing. Let's, you guys said let's, he's a powerful wizard. I don't know. No, that's a great idea. Be a voice in the tomb, but like be a friendly voice, letting him know that we're here. Okay. Do you? Who's the? Should I be like a, a like one of the people in the tomb? I don't, I I don't know. I don't know why he's here. Just 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 be a okay. voice. Okay. And and all be right. like, hey, this is Togu. Uh, my friend Eridris talked to you and gave you all of his gold so that you would bring me back from the dead. Um, fancy running into you here. Uh, just want to chat. Something along those lines would be fine. So then, why don't we just tell him then? 
Well, because if you if you're a voice, then then he can't attack. The wolf can't attack a voice. It's a very it's a very mean wolf. Okay. Okay. Um, Got it. Cool. Got it. All right. I would like to right. cast my I would like to cast minor illusion. You got this. And buddy. I and I just read that minor illusion can also be um, a voice as well as an illusion, like yep. a object. Yep. So it's gonna be like, "Who are you?" Damn it. <laughs> 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 it's not what he told him to do. Um, it's only when I when he investigates it, right? Then we make a then a, a spell save, I think. Um, Let me see. Maybe it's just a oh yeah. Intelligence check against the spell DC. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and you just heard like his like uh, kind of skinny long fingers rolling through pages, like. And it stops. And he's like, ah! Who said that? Who are you? Oh, is this going good? I don't know. <laughs> what? I'm Harvey! <laughs> You're who? Harvey! Sir Harvey! <laughs> You're. S I, I, excuse me, Goblin. I was talking to the wolf. Oh, who this are you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, young one. And your name was Harvey, is that correct? <laughs> what are you doing in my tomb? And then I want to look at her and be like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm just it. <laughs> I just kind of like, okay. It's like shaking my head. <laughs> um. And so you see him kind of like cock his head at like the wall where he's hearing the sound. Or where is he hearing the sound from? The center, the sarcophagus in the middle of the room. Ooh, cool. Uh, so he looks at it and kind of cocks his head at it. And then he goes, uh, It's your tomb! That makes a lot of sense, actually. Why is it dedicated to you? <laughs> you obviously <laughs> don't know who I am, do you? No, I don't. What did you do in life? What's your name? Why were you buried here? What did you do in life? <laughs> I think only yes. one of us is asking questions here, young one. So you didn't Why are you in my tomb? Well, I'm not in your tomb yet. And he, you go, and he like disappears. And then he like uh, is, you don't know where he is anymore. And then you just hear like, <laughs> as he like explodes out of the tomb and pushes like the thing over. He's like, your body's old. Uh, <laughs> I wish you wouldn't have done that. Oh my god! I love whatever. This. And you just see him walk over to and start messing with some books. You know, if you mess with most of my books, the temple guards will come in and uh, take care of you, so to speak. Well, that sounds Aragis great. is like, he's threatening, he's threatening, he's threatening. <laughs> oh, God, God. <laughs> no, this is fine, this is fucking fine, this is fine, everything's fine. This is unless, good. unless, are you in need of some uh, assistance in what you search for? Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Um, well, yeah, I'm looking for any rare goods, interesting stuff, you know, the magical kind. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for rare magical groups, I'd like to let you know that um, I have some friends in this tomb oh, oh. who could help search for whatever it is you're looking for. Is it all the dead guys? I already checked them all out. <laughs> Nothing going on. Uh, not necessarily dead guys, but I'm pretty sure you know a couple of them. Well, that's a predicament. Everybody knows Sir Harvey, but Sir Harvey doesn't know that many. Unless you're talking about deep magic. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they very well could be. The deepest of magics. I would just like to let you know that they will be entering this tomb shortly. So if you would like to speak with them, 
be ready. Uh, if you would not like to encounter them, I would suggest that you leave now. You said they're going to take care of me? Like, tuck me into bed, feed me dinner. I, it's not a threat. It, I'm just telling you what's going to happen. Well, yeah, I'd love to meet him. I like friends. I'm Sir Harvey, and this is Hairpin, and we're buds. <laughs> I want to look back at Ernest and be like, <laughs> <laughs> "No, that was that was a very that was a very very long roundabout way to do the exact same <laughs> thing." That's fine. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, and then I would like to like hook my arm around Eridris's leg and then like walk in with him. Be like, oh. and they're entering the room now. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh shit, Sir Harvey, what? Running into oh. you here, this is weird. Hairpin. Um, and so he's just reading through this book and he doesn't look at you guys. He just slowly closes it and puts it down. And then you just see him go. Aah! It just runs at you guys full force. <laughs> and you just see him running and the wolf starts coming like they're uh, to catch up to him. He jumps onto the wolf and they're both like charging straight at you. Like, and, like coming directly at you. And they leap like as if they're about to pounce on you. And you just see this blue portal appear to, and they're just nothing. Whoa. Um, tack. Was that, well, look, damn I, it. I, I was that your... Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, tack, Julie, and Darrow, can you make a perception check? Oh, yes, I can. Six. Sixteen. Ten. Okay. Wait. Um, so... Oh, wait, thirteen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jolie and Darrow, you, like, saw that happen. So it's Hoku and Erdris, and you're, like, freaked out. Like, thought they were about to be, like, attacked by this wolf, this goblin riding a wolf. And, uh, you're like, whoa. And Tack, you stared at that, and then you just, like, hear this sound. And you look over to the right, and uh, at, the, at the bottom of the stairs, you just see, uh, um, the, the goblin and the wolf standing next to this like little handle that was one of the traps that Jolie uh, pointed out. He just, he just goes ah, ah, and like pulls it down. Um, no! And then, and then you see how, this how, how, how far are they from us? Um, you're technically in the other room, but uh, well, I guess it's open enough that you guys can kind of see through. Um, I don't know, like 20 feet away. 25 feet? 20. Two zero. 20 feet. Cool. I'd like to use Mage Hand to try and stop the lever. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, yeah. You can, it has some strength behind it. It's pretty specific. I'll kind of like grab Vin sort of too contest. and just like pull him towards me. Um, come over here, buddy. Uh, yeah, right. So... Wait, you actually control the hand, manipulate an object, open a door. Hand can attack. Uh, ten, 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 pounds. ten pounds. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what yeah, okay. Um, so uh, he starts to pull this thing down, and this hand just goes like, <laughs> and catches it, and then he like looks like, like <laughs> and your hand, the hand is like pushing it up while he's pulling down. <laughs> and he's like, starts to bite, he's like, <laughs> And it's like not working. You like can't get through it. <laughs> and let's go of it. Um, and then you just see Hairpin go and just smack the thing down. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and the mage hand falls to the ground and the lever gets pulled down. And then you just see him look at it. He's like, Way to go, Hairpin! <laughs> and then he jumps on Hairpin. He's like, Good luck! <laughs> and then and he does peace and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Before Peace, before he actually gets out of there, do I have enough time to cast uh, Mold Earth in front of him? Yeah, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> okay, so I just like to like put up a barrier across the chamber, like five feet high, um, as as wide as I can get it, like directly in front of him. And just I, I just want to say, hey, don't, hey, don't don't leave. I I I want to talk to you, please. <laughs> uh. Please. <laughs> 
I'm really yeah. excited, Sam, that you've come up with a character where you can incorporate that laugh because I feel like it's so much you <laughs> that like yes. it needs to be a thing in here. <laughs> yep. He's very um, good at it. I, I left it up to the dice. <laughs> Technically, I could just give you guys a thousand reactions. Um, and he rolled pretty well. So he uh, just like teleports. Ah. But bye, friend. <laughs> Who the fuck was that, you guys? Who was that? What was um, that? It, that was Sir Harvey and Hairpin. I mean, yeah, he's a very he's a very powerful mage that uses a bunch of time and deep magic. Yeah, <sighs> I could learn well, from him. We shouldn't have scared yeah, him away. Yeah, you could. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's an awkward situation, and he just pulled the trap. Um, what's the, what's happening now? Yeah, so <laughs> when it's he, just the worst trap. Everybody's yeah. like, ah, and like the light turns on. And nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, it falls all over crack. us. Um, yeah. So when he teleports out, um, Pack, I'm gonna say only you notice um, that uh, like this little tiny box like falls out um, of his pocket as he goes through. It's like shh, when he like disappears through this portal. Um, and then Togu and Erejus, you guys being the furthest away, um, hear some weird noises, like a... And you look over into that large tube, and you see this big, like, knight stand up, um, like, reanimated dead. And he's, like, sitting up in it, in his tube now. Oh, damn it, those are the worst sounds to hear in a crypt. <laughs> and we're gonna roll initiative! Oh, oh yeah! Two fights in a session. This is yeah. killer. I love it. I have What's like one record? spell left. It's cool because uh because I rolled a nat one. Uh, oh, 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 oh. drink, drink. I bad just thought. You know, I might black out tonight. Just the die are gonna do that. To me. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you get so drunk? It was the goddamn dice. It was the dice. <laughs> I got 16. 19 again. I got an 11. 19 as well. Okay. What'd you get, Erigus? Uh, not one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you forgot. You have to drink again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Jolie hey. or Pack, who wants to go first? You can decide between you two. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I want to go scoop up that box. Awesome. You pick it up. It is a match box. You open it. There are three matches in there. There are 20 matches. Cool. Now I have an inventory like Ong. <laughs> it's the only way to have an inventory. Let's be honest. <laughs> Um, how far away was that from me? Uh, it was like 20, 15, 20 feet or something. Yeah. Let's go 15. So, yeah. yeah. And how far away is the night from me now? Mm, I Probably guess not now, too far. Now he's like 25 from you. The opposite end of the room. Okay. Is this the night from the tomb that Harvey broke into and broke the top off? Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I will pull out my crossbow and how many? What's that gonna check? I'm gonna Let's say, let me say have. this. So, Jack, this is not a very large room, and uh -huh. in between, it's not a very large room, and in between you and this like ghoul who's Good starting point. to stand up, there are four of your friends. Well, three friends and the stranger. <laughs> and wow. a vent. <laughs> Just... And a child. This poor child. <laughs> you can fire but He's an NPC. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm going to roll for each one of them to see if they hit. So. Well, then I might as well use three birds, one stone. <laughs> yeah. Roll three times for each person. Um, I guess I will charge in then with the okay. extendo spear. Okay, which adds like five feet, I think I said. Mm hmm. I haven't given that to Eric. 
Erdris yet, but yeah. I will. As 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 I see you wielding that, I'm like, Whoa, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and I only have to get ten feet away. Yep. To exactly. attack. Yeah. Um, In Erdris's eyes, all of Tack's movement is slow motion as he's wielding that spear. <laughs> I'm just like watching it, like. He's like he's running through a meadow motion. during a depression uh, a depression medication commercial. <laughs> like and then, like, and Togu, oh yeah, Togu wants to be Togu wants to be watching air just like what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> yeah. What? Um so alright, so let's do your attack roll then, attack. Cool. Tax attack. Tax attack. Tax attacks, attacks, attack. Fourteen. That does not hit. <laughs> so I'm ten feet away, and the spear is so long, and it's kind of go. I use the, ex- really... the extend feature, <laughs> and it's kind of like the extend the spear. <laughs> it's cool. So you like jab at him, right? And this thing comes like, and then another part of it goes sliding from like on top of it, does like another five feet. Um, you're welcome for whatever that was just now, and it does that. And, <laughs> um, it like it like misses hit his like face neck area by like just like a couple mm-hmm. of inches. You just see him like looking like <sighs> like unfazed by it. Um, Jolie, oui. you're um, Jolie. You're up. Daryl, you're on deck. Sorry, Tack. I probably should have gone first and done this first. Um, I'm gonna cast bless on Erdris, Togu, and Tack. So you guys get to add a D4 to any of your attack rolls or saving throws. Um, up to a minute. Um, this kind of like rosy gold light kind of comes out, pew pew pew, and hits all of you guys. Um, and then I would like to grab. Um, God damn it! What is this kid's name? Vincent. <laughs> I think. Oh, <laughs> I, I'll grab him and kind of like, can I hide? I don't know if I can do yeah. that since I already cast a spell as my action. I can. Um, okay. This is not an action. I think it is an action. Okay, well, I'll just go as far away from combat as I can and kind of just cover okay. his ass. Yeah. I'll like Probably. teach him a handshake in the corner, but like... Yeah. Look and make sure everybody's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> everything's fine, I swear, I swear. Everything's fine. That's my turn. So, yeah, you're, you guys are basically, uh, like, y- y- in between this doorway area, right, where that large stone door was. That's, like, only yeah. one third open. So you can just go through that, and then you kind of lose line of sight on him pretty well. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'll just that, do that. Would make That would make hiding easier. You basically have done that, because he can't directly see you. No wait, shit. I can't so, hear you. That's what the ghoul sounds like, actually. That noise. Um, and is there anything else you want to do? Are you done, Jolie? Uh oh. Oh my god. She's from. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> Everything just I... cut up. Just had to go. Okay, good. <laughs> well, well, good. Sorry, I did not hear what you said that last time. <laughs> are you Are you done? Or is there anything else? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Darrow, you're up, and Togu, you're on deck. Okay, um, Ab, do I have line of sight on this thing? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'd just like to say um, Firebolt and uh, take my signet <laughs> ring out and just kind of point it at it like I'm a fucking Power Ranger and shoot a Firebolt <laughs> at it. You don't even look, you're like, Warp in time! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eridris sees the way that he does this, and he's a little and, and like in his head, like, okay, all right. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a uh, uh, twenty-five to hit. Did you add the four? Uh, no, I didn't get that benefit. Mm-mm. Didn't cast it on me. Oh. I did it. It didn't matter. <laughs> yes, you hit. Let's do damage. Uh, eight. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you like blast this thing with, with a fireball, and you see some of its skin like go flying off, and its helmet like breaks and falls to the ground. Uh, and then I'd like to move like to the back of everyone. I want to stay away from it if possible, but okay. I don't want to run. I want to walk. 
Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. You like walk to the side. Um, all right, it's the knight's turn, and then Togo, you're up. Um, so, yeah, it, it, you blast off some of its like skin, and its its helmet falls off. Um, and then it finally like sw- like moves one leg, and then the other leg over the coffin. And you guys can see that it's you know it's like a full knight, like it has its full armor. And you can see that it's clearly an undead with its face, and it has like a cape coming down, and it's like a bright. Uh, elegant purple, but definitely kind of tattered and old. Um, and you just see it pull out its weapon and um, and start to take steps towards you, but it's very, very slow. Um, Togu, your turn. Um, so I would like to use... Um, I'm going to first draw a church key, just so I've got it in my hands. And then I would like to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on the mm-hmm. night. That's um, where it makes it laugh. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Wisdom saving throw. <laughs> uh, does it, Austin, before you do, does it have an intelligence score? Uh huh. It does? Okay. Is it below four? Its score? No. No. Is it below, is his intelligence score below four? No, it's not. It's the most meta okay, shit cool. I've ever seen. Uh, it's, it's a rule. It's a rule that if a creature with an intelligence score of four or less isn't affected. So, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, it succeeds. I got an eighteen. Cool. Oh, All right, then. Damn it! I was really hoping to to just Make the hear. Laugh. What yeah, the laugh I just was wanted to happen. hear you do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. And then, <laughs> and then to end. Oh wait, no. And then I want to uh, just hide behind Eridris. Okay. And not hide. <laughs> I'm gonna stand behind Eridris. Yeah. Well, as you do, it's his turn. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, damn it! Sorry. Sorry. Um, the I, I tried some. It didn't work. Oh no, dude. You're fine. I'm just. I'm just <laughs> mad at the situation. I'm just mad at the situation right now. It's, God damn night. Um, and then I want to, um, I want to pull out my quarter staff and I'm just going to like run at it. It's all Naruto y. And um, I want to, I want to try to uh, swing with my quarter staff um, like to the back of the knee and to like try to like get them to buckle mm-hmm. a little bit. And then cool. as a bonus action, my unarmed strike is going to be a, uh, a kick to the head. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's, Don't let's forget see. your D four. Ah, uh, well, and <laughs> and it's on it, it, it's on hit. It's on attack. Miranda, on attack. Sick. Uh, yeah, attack um, or saving throw. All right, I'm definitely going to use it on attack. There I go. Come on. Yes. All right. Good. Uh, Sixteen to hit on the quarter nice. staff. Okay. Yeah, that nice, hits, dude. Yeah. And then. Um, do you want me to do the hit on the other one right now, or damage? Sure. Yeah, All right. do the hit. Ar- the unarmed strike. Oh, shit. That's a 24 on the unarmed strike, too, that, which is kicking him too. in the head. Yeah. Cool. Um, so damage on the quarterstaff attack. Let me make sure this is what a D8 looks like. Um, is uh, 10, one of which is acid damage. Okay. And then on on the unarmed strike, uh, it's uh, four damage. Cool. Nice. Okay. Work. Yeah. So you hit it, uh, and it like kind of sizzles its skin a little bit with that acid damage. Um, you do see it kind of drop uh, to one knee while it's holding its like massive great sword. Um, and then yeah, then you kick it in the face. You just see like its neck like break like. <laughs> And then you see it like slowly like, uh-huh. like snap back in. Um, okay, full circle. It is tack, and then Jolie, you're up after. Uh, all right. So I will attack with my spear again. Or actually, no, I'm going to attack with Sailor's Remorse. I forgot I got that back. Cool. Um, in Aragis's eyes, this is all yeah. happening in real speed. 
Thanks, thanks for the update. So, I do have to move <laughs> five feet forward first. So move five feet, and then I attack, okay. and I get a 13. So it's worse than last time, so I don't think I hit. Does it so matter if he's a on a knee? No, he's not prone yet. Dang. Um, so no, you, you, wait, you, you got a what? What was your roll again? 13. It does not hit. Yeah. Did you add the four? Yeah. Nope. Good thing I'm blessed. <laughs> By man blessed. Named Be Taylor. blessed. Fifteen. <laughs> that will hit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so Let's much. Let's go. Uh, you kind man. All right. <laughs> it was possible for you to fail still, but you did. Yeah. And I would like to use a superiority die for. Disarming attack. Okay. Ooh. He has to be a strength DC of 15. He doesn't. Oh boy. Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. He's gonna drop his big ass sword. Is it a sword it, that he has? 15 damage. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Ooh. You're, you're striking his hands then? Or how does that, what, what's your target? Yeah, so since my target, yeah, was this going for the forearm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, with your sword. I'm going to say that you don't just disarm him, but you like cleanly cut off his left hand. And so it just like falls <laughs> to the ground. And then he can't quite hold it with that. And it like falls and the sword falls to the ground. And this is massive. Like it, it's like really loud. Like <laughs> as it hits the ground, this huge thing. Um, I cover my ears. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, Joel, is there anything else you want to do, brother? Nope. All right, Jolie, you're up. Um, you're Vic, after. stay right here. I'll uh, be right back, read a book or something, and I'm going to walk around the door, and I'm going to hold on to this necklace that I have that has, like, an orange fucking stone in it. And I'm gonna take a deep breath. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try, and I'm going to use Channel Divinity, Turn Undead, and because I'm assuming these characters, these creatures are undead? Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, they have to make a wisdom saving throw or move as far away from me as possible. So I'm going to, like, hold on to this necklace, take a couple of deep breaths, and just go, I don't know, yell out a weird little fox scream. <laughs> Cast it. What does a fox say? <laughs> <Right. laughs> uh, is your spell uh, DC a 17? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, no. Um, okay, well... Oh, am I frozen still? No, you're good. No, you're good. Okay. Um, well... Looks like it didn't work, everybody! I was gonna try to, like, pivot turn back into the room. <laughs> she just, like, kind of, like... <laughs> I just come out and scream, <laughs> nothing happens, and then I retract. <laughs> uh, I'll try again after a long yeah. rest. Yeah, good good try, Jolie. You, you did what you could. <laughs> I'm learning. It's a weird day for me. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing your best. Uh, Dale, All right, that would have been so cool if that worked. But it didn't. That should have worked too. That's crazy. Uh, he rolled good. He rolled. Um, Darrow. How far away is this thing from me at this point? I think like 15 feet. You guys are kind of all in this small room. Except Joey. I, I, it like, like exactly 15 feet or like 16 feet? Well, I said 15, so I'll do that. Oh, like a solid. Fi okay, cool. Um, then I'm just gonna cast Firebolt at it again uh, with my ray. Uh, but this time I'm just gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the attack roll then. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, you hit. Four. Awesome. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, you hit it and it like blows off one of its like shoulder plates. Um, yeah, you do four fire damage. damage. Yeah. Fire damage. Fuego. Cool. Um, He's in fuego. Uh, Tack, can you do a strength roll? Nat one. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Cheers. I only got a three, and I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> well, wow. okay. that's crazy. Um, like a short seven. Sucks. So, after you like cut off its uh, its hand, <laughs> it like turns to you, and it just it, like quickly grabs you, like just by the neck, and you see it like stand up again, and it's just holding you. Um, and you see it, 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 it like brings you close to its face and like this cold like blue air comes out of it. Uh, can you make a wisdom saving? Um, four. Is it a saving throw? Do you get to use blessing? He used it on his attack. Yeah. Can we only get one or do we use it? Okay. I think it's one. Do you know Julie? For, for what? Sorry. For blessing? Bless. You only use that once and it's gone? No, you can use it up until for a whole minute. Okay. Over I will and tell over you and that. over again. I don't well, think it'll help you in this scenario, for... even if you maxed it out. Yeah. That's sick. What, what's the level of the spell that it's casting? Uh, I'm just using a second level. Or first level, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the zombie guy. Uh oh. Um, it's a second level. I. Uh, I'd like to use counter spell on it then. <laughs> counter oh, spell. Sick. Okay. Um. So you just have to do a, a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Cool. And that works. Nice. Outside of your turn. Like you what? Can just do that. that works outside of your turn. Like you can just do it's that. In, yeah, it's instantaneous. I can essentially yeah. use it as a reaction. Okay. I got a 16. What did I have to beat? Uh, 15. So you... <laughs> wait, wait, you said it was a second level spell? Yeah. Okay, I like you just automatically fail it. If the creature is casting a spell of third level or lower, its spell fails and it has no effect. Okay. <laughs> Go, We're... Sam! Yeah. I mean, I, it, it's hard because I have to use D&D rules when I just made up a spell. So, uh... Yeah. I... I, I <laughs> Yeah, all right. So, um, yeah, I mean, we need to play the game. I'll just make it a higher level spell next time because I just, I just chose quickly. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Dak, um, nothing happens to you. And... <laughs> Get some gross-ass undead coffee breath in your face. Yeah, he's now just going to strangle you to death. <laughs> Choking me. I start playing with my nipples. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Make a make a make a con saving. You get a lot of saving throws though. Uh, and you get to add a D4. Con? Don't forget to add that bless. Booked and bless. Constitution unnatural twenty. Yay! All right. So you don't fall unconscious. He squeezes your uh, throat uh, a lot to the point where you feel like your like esophagus is almost breaking. Um, you're talking about six. pass out. Pinch my nipples really hard. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> that was coming. I knew it. Um, you're you're going to take 16 damage, and then he just drops Oof. you. No, but you're still I awake. Of... You don't I pass out. Him. Barely. Barely. That was good for you to counter that. It is now uh... somebody's turn. I'm sorry. It is uh, Toga's turn. Did the night. Or All right, so, Darryl, uh... Wait, is it... No, Daryl went... No, it's... Toku. It's the knight went, went, and that's me. Um, how far oh, am I oh, from yeah. those torches you talked about earlier? Um, yeah, so there's two torches just on the outside of that wall. Um, uh, so, like... Yeah. I don't know. You're... Are you... went? Did you... You're... Are you still by Erdris? Yeah. Or not, since he ran an attack. Okay. So, yeah, I'm right where Erdris was. Yeah, you're like, I don't know, eight, nine feet away from the... You could just go through the door and then the torches would be there. 
Okay. Uh, so eight nine feet to get there, and then eight nine feet to get back where I was. Yeah. Okay. And then and then how far am I right now from the night? Uh, like fifteen feet. Okay. You could probably do it all if you wanted to get to him. Okay. Yeah, I want to go grab a torch, one of the torches, and then come back in. Um, and I I'm gonna. Use the. T uh, I'm gonna try and like run beside him and kind of give him like the slice on the back of the leg with church okay. key while holding the fire. Yeah, because you can attack with both things. I know. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attack with church key first, and then I'm gonna do something with the torch afterwards. Okay. But I'll tell you what that is in a second. All right, so I rolled twelve. All right, that's only a fourteen. Oh no, but it's church key, so it's a fifteen. Fifteen hits. Fourteen does not. Cool. All <laughs> right, so twenty-six. I do four points of damage. Okay. And then I'd like to use the torch to light his cape on fire. Nice. Right on. Um, it happens. And so it lights cool. on fire. Um, and it starts at like the base of it. And it's like slowly moving up this thing. Um, and then I'd like to use whatever movement I have left to get away from him. <laughs> well, now that you're which next to him. Which I don't think it's very much. If you were to move away from him now, um, he would get an attack of opportunity. Uh-oh. Uh, we lose someone. We did. Yeah, Miranda. Miranda's down. Oh, okay. You've now R. taken Jolie's place in our window, so okay. now you're Jolie forever. <laughs> I love how it just, like, automatically switches. Yeah. <laughs> just rearrange. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay underneath him and end my turn. Okay. Um... Yeah, well, I think it is Eridris. Um, is, is he let go of Tack, right? Or is he still holding on yes. to him? Yes, Tack's on the ground. Tack's on the yeah. ground. All right, cool. Um, so I want to, um, let's see here. I don't believe I can do the other thing. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for an attack. Um, he is he still he's still on a knee. Is he still on a knee or or no? Uh, he is standing now. Attack. You're on deck, by the way. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, what uh, what I want to do is um, just uh, strike with my quarter staff on like the inside of his of the opposite knee. Okay. Um, and then make an unarmed strike um, again to his face. Cool. So, um, boop. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's, uh, oh, wait. No, this might be okay. Um, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought You're blessed. blessed. It's a, it's blessed. a nine. Um, it's nine. And so that is a 17 to hit on the quarter staff. Oh. And a uh an 18 to hit on the unarmed strike all right um and so quarter staff damage isn't exciting um that's a seven one of which is acid and okay. then the unarmed strike damage is uh is also seven and nice. it's all bludgeoning okay yeah the bludgeoning. Uh, um, bludgeoning. Yeah, so you're in the back of the knee. I'm going to say that uh, when you do that, like it's like both of his legs are now weakened, and he falls to, like, to his knees. Um, and then you make your second hit. And, um, yeah, you can, I mean, you can tell that his body's starting to get kind of beat up now. Um, How far is the fire up the, yeah, the cloak? Yeah, it's like half, halfway up his uh, cloak at this point. <laughs> oh my god. Um I mean, yeah, never mind. He's 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 still on his knees. Cool. Oh, no, um and and yeah, that's uh, that ends my turn. Okay. 
Um, Tack, you're up, and I would say Jilly's up next, but we'll find out. Tack! Um, so I guess I will use half my movement speed to get up. And then I will take a, another swipe with Sailor's Remorse. Okay, let's do Just it. Aiming for that torso. Yeah. Hit an 11. Miss. Oh my god. Then I will use Nimble <laughs> Escape as a bonus action to disengage, <laughs> move 15 feet away. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> it's crazy because, like, Air, uh, Austin will roll like a 1 and it's still like a 19. But if you, any of your attacks, are not <laughs> Uh Alright, man. Yeah, sorry. You, you, like, swipe at him and he's, like, not prone, but on his knees, not moving. And you, like, miss. And like this is like the third time that the whole group has seen you like miss like horribly <laughs> after several perfect very un attacks, run away <laughs> yeah after like a series of like perfectly aimed shots at like people's buttholes and like cutting ropes to make the elevator allow you guys escape <laughs> that's the problem it's because you're attacking his front when he has a giant bullseye <laughs> on his ass <laughs> um all right, Jody, it is your turn. Daryl, you're on deck. Uh, okay, I'm going to pop around that door. Uh, Vin, I'll be back. <laughs> Keep reading one more second. I'm going to walk around, pull out okay. my crossbow, and uh, try and shoot the motherfucker that's on the, his knee. Give it a whirl. Yeah, let's do an attack roll with that. Before your internet disconnects. I know. <laughs> 17. Yeah, you hit. Woohoo! First hit of the night! Yeah. Five, six, seven, plus two necrotic. Eight, nine points of damage. Nice. All right. Um, so, yeah, you shoot this thing. And uh, it goes right into, like, the center of its chest. Or, like, right where its heart would be. And well, I did it backwards for you guys, and then realized that it's not. <laughs> You know, like anyway, <laughs> uh, so you hit it right in the heart. In its heart. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it right in its heart. Um, right in its heart. And uh, this like arrow like starts like turn all white, and you see like this like uh, I don't know white light like coming out of it, um, and then it like slowly is like this thing just explodes. Oh! Whoa! Wow! I've never seen that before. Wow. I use shield. I use shield to stop all of the gross shit from hitting me. <laughs> okay, everybody else Whoa. gets caked with like ashes. <laughs> you, see, you just see these little cat coughs. Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, like beautiful. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, these things blow up. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> And um, as <laughs> when you see job. it explode, you do see <laughs> this you. Uh, this little uh, this little black key fall to the ground and go ding ding ding. And with that, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll see you guys very very soon. Appreciate you, love you, and see you in five. Bye bye bye. <coughs>
All right, and we're back. And Joe Lee's internet comes in, and then it goes, and it's gone. And so we'll just see. But in the meantime, Taylor, tell us about Dice MB and other things. Hello, I'm your favorite gnome bard, Togu. And I absolutely love these dice that I found online called Dice NV. We're out here making it rain. They are the coolest. So if you want to get yourself some sick dice to go with your next D&D session, find DiceNV.com backslash Bottle Cap Brigade. Whoa, Whoa. Is it backslash or forward slash? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know. I just anymore. I, it's just a I dash. Just committed. <laughs> try, try both, you guys, and let us know what we're, what are you doing there, Austin? What is well, <laughs> I was doing it as a joke, but I started to hear something, and I've never done it before, like legitimately. So I thought, like, <laughs> I'm doing it. That's how <laughs> no, I tried you're... to do it again. Doing what? Oh, this. I don't one? know how people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just, anyways. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it kind of sounded like a baby rattle or something, but I, I'm sure it sounded cool at first. Have you guys never <laughs> dipped Copenhagen before? Copenhagen well, my brother has. So I've seen good. it done. I just don't know how to, how to make the snappy. Copenhagen, the way I know it should. Well, I put a chew in my mouth, go spitting and slobbing all around the house. That Copenhagen makes it feel so good. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to get a note. Open it again if you're Universal. watching. Sponsor wow. us. So- <laughs> <laughs> There's so much groping in here. Um, Our ads yeah, we'll- are going to get weird. <laughs> <laughs> we have the weirdest sponsors. Um, so you guys watch as, as, as the ghoul night like, explodes um, and ashes fly over the place. You guys see this small key like hit the ground. Like ding, ding, ding. Um, since I'm just right there, I just want to reach down and pick it up and uh, check the thingy out. Okay, it is a little black key, and on the base of it, um, there is seems to be some sort of bird. Hey, uh, Eridris. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, do you want me to take a look at that key, buddy? Um... I've got a little tie-in for uh, any sort of items that happen to be historical or magic or anything like that. Okay, sure. Catch it out, uh, or uh, check it out. And, uh, <laughs> and catch uh, it also, too. I I did some research, <laughs> and I've been doing it wrong, but now I know how to do it correctly. So, um, yeah, can I? I'm gonna use gnome cunning to try and take a look at this thing. Okay. So I get uh, plus two to the roll. <laughs> I not want it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll oh, let everybody. You, I'll let you RP the. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. I'll I'll let you RP this however you want, Togu. But basically, you you're like, oh, I'm really good at this shit, and you take it and you look at it, and you have no fucking idea. Like it just does none of it makes any sense to you. I'm like, it's a key. Yeah, it's a key. And then I want to toss it back to Eric. <laughs> I just want to catch it. Yeah, it's a key. Uh, okay. And I'm just going to um, put it in my pocket. Um, it's like, so, you guys, I have a thing to throw out here. Um, that Sir Harvey guy was looting the shit out of this here crypt. Um, and uh, from my recent, from my interaction with Sir Harvey, he's a very powerful guy. Um, looks for powerful shit um you guys maybe want to do like a like a like a maybe a once over a once over of this crypt and just maybe see a, if there I think it's a great idea yeah definitely we kind of killed the dude that the crypt is for so uh, let's do it i'll load the room i want to go <laughs> specifically to the bookcase first okay um I'll give you guys all an opportunity. You're gonna tell me what area of the room you wanna look, and then I'll let you do an investigation roll. I like making up how I play D and D, so uh, we'll do. Tell um, you first. I, well, I, real quick, can you can you describe the room one more time? Yes, great. Going into this, make that, that makes sense. Um, so there is a there is like two rows of bookcases over on the left. Um, there is the crypt itself. There is uh, the dead ghoul, and then there's a sword. 
And then on the uh, right side, there are some more um, like coffins built into the wall, um, but they're like open. Um, and then on the very like front left of the room, there is a table with some knickknacks. With some what? Knickknacks. 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 Yeah. I'm definitely going to that knickknack table. <laughs> I love me. I love me a clearance section. <laughs> oh. Target get sponsor. Your, get your investigation <laughs> rolls uh, ready. Eleven. And Togu, you're up first. Uh, I'm gonna check the bookcase that Sir Harvey was at. Alright. I got a I got an eighteen. Okay. Um, you are scrolling or going through these pages of, or sorry, these books, the titles, and none of it looks interesting. Like maybe some like, kind of like accounts of family histories of shit you've never heard of and kind of like maybe computation or something like mathematics and stuff. And you're like, this is kind of lame. And you're like going through it. And then one does pique your interest. Um, and it, it, it says, uh, the art of the chef. Okay. Cool. Um, and I'm going to just say that this is, you pull this thing out and it's just like a scroll. And uh, the minute that you read it, as you start ro going, like open up the scroll and start reading the text and they're like recipes and different things. Um, so you discover a whole new set of recipes. And whenever you make something now and you have to roll for it, you get a plus two. Cool. Nice. Oh, that's great. Like plus make two food to your cooking. You oh, make. yeah. Does it have to be food or just drink count too? Any consumable. Got it. it. A plus Sick. two to whatever it tastes like or whatever it does. Like you're more likely to be successful at doing it. Cool. Got it. Hell yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah. Air just. Um. Sweet. I want to uh, take a closer look at the sarcophagus, the coffin that he was that he was in. Okay. And yeah. that, and maybe um, like check behind it, just like that area. That area. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, you you see, there's like a little thing or whatever, and it and it um it says here lies um, Sir Fira. Yeah. Did you make that name up? <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Wait, did you you want me to roll, right? Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, freaking, I'm rolling. Awesome. Uh, Nineteen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's here lies Sir Fira, which is F Y R A, and uh, and then yeah, you look around. There's like nothing behind it. Maybe some like pots that don't have anything in them, and then in the tomb itself, or in the sarcophagus, is like a little dagger that has some jewels. Has some jewels. Oh, sweet. Uh, I want to grab that bad boy and check him out. Yeah, you have a bejeweled dagger. Um, if you want to keep it, it is uh, a 1d6. Um, and it That's does, a good dagger. Yeah, 1d6, and it does plus four to undead. Whoa. Shit. Okay. That's ironic. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dungeon Daddy. <laughs> uh, just Daddy, thank you. And uh, attack, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Something about you being like, I'm thank like... you, Daddy, is not what you're <laughs> I don't, I don't want you to. Like, you're asking for it. That's what you <laughs> uh, Sorry, I got to close this door. Attack, you're up, brother. <laughs> I'm going to look to see if monks are proficient with daggers. I want to. Sorry, I dropped my pencil. All right, pencils back. Drink pencil I, want, I want to, <laughs> yeah. I want to investigate the sword, or check it out, or investigate or arcana check. Taste it. Yeah. yeah. Um, man, it's it's like this massive great sword, um, mm -hmm. super super heavy, um, and yeah. Uh, well, that's kind of something you don't have to roll for on that one. So I'll just, uh, it's kind of oh. a gimme. 
It is the uh, great sword of the Fyra family. Um, do I know of this family by any chance? Like, do I? Can I recognize that? Um, maybe Ong would have, but no. Mm. You get. You get. I think them. Ong would have known. Yeah, this rub it in. So Jeez. sad. Fucking sad. I remember Ong um, talking about Fyra family. <laughs> I don't there. remember any tales though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We, <laughs> weird. we heard it so many times. Yeah, it was like a little lullaby. Ugh. <laughs> Those are the uh, is there like a strength requirement or anything to use it? Well, you'd have to have a proficiency in great swords. Oh, and yeah, the large, super big weapon, great weapon proficiency. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's. The, that's how that's how it reads in the manual. <laughs> large, super large. Super large. Yeah, yes, dildo large. stuff. Yeah. The Shrek dildo proficiency. I yep. would like right after to the take it. Skills. I'd like to strap it to my back. If that would be allowed. <laughs> how big is it? Um, it's definitely at least double his size. Yeah. Horiz I'm going to strap it horizontally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're as tall as you are wide now. <laughs> he's he's like he's like a dog with the cone of shame, you know, like he can't get through any door. Um all right man. Yeah. It's like it, a little it, goblin cloud. It, it's really, really powerful, but I don't think you can use it. As far as I know, so maybe we don't need to talk about it. But we should. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you were able to use it, it's like a 1d10 weapon, um, and then it also does uh, more damage in certain scenarios. Okay. Um, Jolie. I rolled an 11 for the knickknack table. Knickknacks. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, you find uh, like some like some empty scrolls. Right, like they're okay. they're unused or unwritten, um, so kind of like finding paper, and uh, then you Great. also do find some, some ink and a little quill, um, and then you also find a uh, a like kind of mysterious looking potion that is uncorked but not drank or consumed. I huff it a little bit. Open. <laughs> okay, um, it smells kind of fruity but tart. Mm. I stick my tongue in it just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like butthole. Um, yeah, you feel like you feel like a little faster. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm feeling a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, anybody else Whoa. want a little sip of this? A little, a little tongue nip. Um, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Um, okay. I'll save it for later, maybe. I'll yeah, try a little bit. <laughs> You'll try a little bit of it? Yeah. Uh, get over here! I just, and, and, and this that, is I, just I, like... You've like made it to him. You know, like you moved faster than him. <laughs> hey, stay it! <laughs> I'm just watching the two, like, cutest members <laughs> of the people. brigade. Uh, freaking drink speed potion. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid <laughs> speed. <laughs> I go over to Togu and I'm like, Togu, That's pretty get good, in right? on That's pretty that. good, right? Oh my god, this is the best. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. You wanna run, do you wanna hold good? hands and run around in a circle? <laughs> Watch me. No, 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 no. Yo, me I wanna hit. I wanna hit. Give me some. I wanna hit. I wanna try it. There you go. Take a swing. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Can I have a hug? You guys are so nice. You guys are my friends. Yeah. Okay, we gotta save this for a good time. But now it's like. Wait, 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 wait. Um. I can't wait to get into town. You have two thirds of a quickness potion. It's like swiftness potion. Yes. Swiftness. Um, and like a journal supply kit. <laughs> like a pen and ink and scrolls. Yes, if you want them. Oh, everybody's roasting. Oh no, she's gone. Probably. Oh, we're good. 
We're good. Uh, oh, we can. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, there, there, there we go. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a good ending. <laughs> It's like she just came up for she's air and she's like, Help me. Oh, even that one's good too, though. Oh, she's oh, back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm back. back. I, yeah. okay. Um, so your, your Swift. Don't is take pressure. speed, kids. Yeah. Um, fuck up your internet. You have you have two, two, <laughs> you have two thirds of a swiftness potion, which would have given you plus fifteen speed for an hour, but now it's going to give you plus ten speed for an hour because you guys drank some of it. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, nice journal math. kit. That's some good math you got there, Dungeon Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and uh, Darrow, it's your turn. It's like you took some swift potion. <laughs> so there's uh, uh, a crypt in the middle and also a bookcase, right? Yes. Okay. Um, can I, before I like get, uh, I just rolled a nat 20. Um, <laughs> with my brand new Dice Envy Dice. Oh, oh, Dice Envy Dice. Yeah, I got it. Can't forget. Yeah, oh my God, uh, can I got another drink. Can I tell if any of them have like <laughs> mat if they have magic shit in either of them, or? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so sad? <laughs> Um, okay, I, I'd like, to... what? <laughs> you want, you want to look for a book, or for something magical? Yeah, well, yeah, I want to see if there's, like, rituals. I want to look for rituals. Um, yeah, so, this is what I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna give you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I love it when you improv this shit, because this is gonna be great. Yes, um... Yeah. <laughs> you find you find a tomb, a tome, uh, entitled Green Passion. Ooh. Ooh. Me uh, get my paper in which I wrote my character down on. <clears throat> okay. Oh, it's not a paper this time. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. Green and Passion. It is, it, it's a book that's seems to discuss the topic of ruinous powers. Um, it's been outlawed in certain regions um, due to the, the evil and sinister recipe that lies with it. And then it, at the beginning... Is it, it says, sex magic? <laughs> <laughs> um, and at, the, at the, the first page says proceed with caution. Yes, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to. Can I put that in my satchel without anyone else seeing me take that and just whisper mm. to Ong? We, we got it, Ong. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Let's Probably do not. a sleight of hand. Yeah. I uh, I five minus probably one. I guess four. Every everybody sees you. Too. Grab the book. Whisper to Ong your pet and put it away. Uh. Darrow, what'd you get? Uh, a very, very powerful book. I've been looking for this for quite some time. So, <laughs> oh. what is it? Uh, it has a spell or two in it. Uh, I need to take a little bit of time to read through it, but I'll tell you what, you guys couldn't understand it. <laughs> that's because I can't Look read. It. Yeah, well, I mean, that's okay, too. It's, you know, you don't. You don't have to read to do magic, Tack. I know we just met, but I, I feel like you're pretty magical to me. Stop. That's the, <laughs> that's the nicest thing I've heard you say since you fell out of the sky. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of a good mood right now, and I'd like to take a shot of uh, whatever liquor I have. Do you have liquor? Everclear. Uh, I, I don't know. Do I? Do I have? I have um, silver. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I'm gonna say that you have. Oh, I've forgotten that uh, that lime 
liquor that's famous in Moose Eve. Uh, that, uh, we town. all did, it sounds like. Oh, the... I don't remember, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've forgotten too, and I made it up, so. It's like Lynetto <laughs> or Lynetto or something. There you go. Well, I, I have some of this wonderful Limerita that I found. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. At, <laughs> Yeah, in my parents' estate before I left. Would you like some, Tack? I, I feel like you might enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet of you. I would love that. Yeah, just uh, around for everyone. Take a sip if you want some, and assuming there's enough in there, DM. Wow. <laughs> sure. A drink? Yeah, okay, you guys I, I drink. drink a bit. Yeah, and you're fully distracted <laughs> about Darrow's obvious, like, way uh, of persuading you not to talk about the book and mm -hmm. um, you guys are now just drinking in a creepy crypt uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> well <laughs> this uh this ended up being a little bit of a detour um i feel like we we might as well you know take a take a nap ski while we're here please i'm out of spells. I think that's a great idea that would be great Cool. I'd like to use uh, sh er a shape earth to like seal off uh, the entrance where um, what's his fuck like um, the little horse goblin friend ran away. Harvey. From. Harvey ran away in. Oh, I want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to make sure I leave the room, the like tomb crypt room, and go to the main room. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're in the main room where there's now one torch and you're holding a torch. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, I can take the first watch, guys, if you guys want to get comfortable. That sure. I do. Um, <clears throat> heck passes out. Same. Hit hard. Vent, uh, find a place to make yourself comfortable, buddy. He's been, like, already, like, piling up different, like, clothes and robes that he's stolen from the dead bodies and that, uh, <laughs> that are like in the sarcophagus yeah just like the corpse you that... are resourceful way to go little buddy i i like to be cozy can't blame yeah. you me too nappy nap nap time okay so you guys are um, it's me my spell slots back <laughs> i'm gonna yeah, rp the nap uh you guys are gonna get a, a long rest then um Togu, you're just awake, um, and you're doing good, and, uh, did anyone want to uh, do anything during this time? I do. Yeah. Um, I want to, I want to inspect Daro. Oh. Uh, inspect me, huh? Because <laughs> you're asleep. Because you're asleep, right? Uh, Ong, Ong might not be, but that's kind of up to the DM's discretion, because... Togu slips on a finger condom. <laughs> uh oh. No, he's trying to. Uh, are you, uh, Togu? Are you trying to like literally see what he has on him, like check out his stuff? I'm or something? trying to. I'm trying to find the book he was talking about okay. earlier. So let's do this. Um, because it's kind of meta for me to ask you whether it was your intention to sleep or not now, Daryl. So let's just do... Uh, well, I was going to go to... I was going to go to sleep, but my familiar... I, I It doesn't sleep. It okay, so let's just do... Sleep. Let's, let's it try it sneakily. How about this? Um, my, my, my first point of it, I want to do it in, like, two steps. Like, I'm not just going to go over there and start going through his shit. Like, step one would be to come and check if he's asleep. Okay, so let's just do a stealth roll. I got a. I got a sixteen. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm gonna say that your familiar doesn't notice at this point. And yeah, you can kind of see, and he looks asleep. His familiar seems to be like kind of coiled up, not like looking at you. Let's say coiled. <laughs> it's it's resting. You're, you're used to a lot of snakes. <laughs> I know. It's the snake. Bird's coil. Bird's coil. Uh, and then I'd like to... Can I see the book that he was talking about earlier? Mm. You can see uh, a bulge in his uh, bag. That seems quite... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd like to 
quietly see if I can get the book. Okay. Um, let's do a slide of hand. Um, and Darrow, you guys, you're going to contest a sleight of hand with perception. All right. Uh, okay. 15. I also rolled a 15. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. Second if this Ty, Ty goes I... to me technically, but. Does it? I really don't know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. Right, uh, everyone drink because I don't know the rule for sure. Yeah. Hey, hey, we drink when we don't know the rules. I'm going to run and I'll be back in like two seconds. I can still hear you guys. Okay, see you in Researching. Uh, okay, okay. researching some rules. Yeah, we are. Researching. Like D and D school. Research. So, so it's up to you, Austin. We can either do um, uh, whoever has the highest modifier, or we re-roll, um, or you just kind of call it a tie, or you just roll to see who wins. All right, I know what I will do. Um, in okay. the meantime, uh, we have. Not an announcement, because Togu's back. All right, Togu. Uh, <laughs> here's the deal. This is what happens. You go over to his back, and this familiar is kind of like, it ha It like keeps like popping its eyes open and looking around, but it's not facing your direction. And uh, you like oh, you like untie his bag, and it, like, it, like, it kind of makes a sound, because some, something in the bag like falls inside the bag. And the filmmaker like looks over to the side, but not still not paying attention or looking directly at you. And then you like slowly pull this book out, um, and you get it out of the bag. Um, what would you like to do with it? Um, do I notice the the familiar looking around? Yeah, I mean, like it's very close to you. You're like being quite nimbly and uh, nimble and sneaky, um, but yeah, nimbly, it's right nimbly. there. I just want to, I want to do this as secret as possible and just open it and look at the, like, first page that has writing on it to see what the book is. Okay, well, on the front of it, it says Green Passion. And you open it up, um, and, and then it says, uh, proceed with caution. Uh, next page. Yeah. <laughs> um, you start to look at this book. And you realize it's a it's some sort of recipe for uh, some kind of destruction uh, potion. Okay. Uh, do I have enough time to memorize the potion? Um, I'm gonna say that you start to read all of the ingredients, and okay. uh, I'll tell them to you right now. If you want to write it down. Okay. Um, you need the tail of a rat. Okay. Um, and the hide of an owl bear. Okay. Um, and then you also need freshly brewed liquor. Any alcohol. Okay. Um, and then you also need poppy seed. Okay. One poppy seed? <laughs> or just poppy seed? It just says poppy seed. Okay. Okay. So and one then I wanna, poppy seed. I, I want to try and put the book back then and just as quietly as possible not worry about it. Okay. You start to close the book and you start to get close to your bag and Darrow is just staring at you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, friend. Were you rifling through my goods <laughs> sorry sorry darrow i i was bored there's not a whole lot to do while you guys are all sleeping and i know you had a you had that book and i was just curious where where did where did you study magic Rem, remind me again <laughs> excuse me oh right you didn't study magic you have no idea what's in that book you don't know what you're doing give me the I, book back 
The book is on your stuff. You don't think I know magic? You don't. You don't know the kind of magic I know. And then I'd like to make uh, like a bunch of explosions happen using prestidigitation, like in the room behind us, wherever the weird. Dead you thing find was. quite impressive, Togu. Like you don't like him, but he was actually kind of impressive. Don't touch uh, my stuff. For the safety of everyone, you could you could kill us. You could kill us all. Look at my face. You see my face? That happened because I I'm an idiot. Don't do it. So what you're <sighs> telling me is you maybe someone who knows magic magic better should keep track of this book because obviously it yeah, for you. Yeah, me. Yeah. And I'd like to turn to Ong and I'd like to just say, Ong, I can't believe you let him take my book. I'm more disappointed in you than anyone. Did those explosions wake us up? I didn't take your book. <laughs> and if yeah, you, you think those explosions are cool, if you think those explosions are cool, <laughs> I'd like to use I'd like to use minor illusion and do the same thing. Okay. Is that oh, a but, cantrip or is that a spell? It's a, a cantrip. spell. Is it not? Uh oh. It's a, it's cantrip. Just a cantrip. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Is it? Hold on. Wait. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Wait. It's an illusion cantrip. Wait. Wait. Sorry, I don't know my character well enough yet. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I would think counterspell would work on a cantrip. If I'm, I don't know. I, I mean, it's a spell. DM, do you have a? But I thought, a, but I thought ca it's not a spell, right? Well, a cantrip, a cantrip is a spell. But isn't there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It. What's I feel like the cantrips rule for are just spells spell? you can? It doesn't. It doesn't. But that's okay. You 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 cast your thing. I mean, it's fine. I mean, even I mean, even if you counter spell, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Uh. So yeah, we can we can let's RP. So you counterspell it, and so I just want to like notice that, yeah, you, and I want to notice that you counterspelled it, and be like, just go up to him and be like, you're not the only one who knows magic. I'm sorry, yeah, I went well, your bag. Don't touch my stuff. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's okay. that's all I'd like to say. I'll just stare at him until <laughs> until he goes away. <laughs> And I'm like, what the you. fuck was the expl? Are you guys, are you are you guys just magic oh. finding what this shit? We're trying to sleep, you guys. No, only one of us know magic here, apparently. Yeah, he touched my away. stuff. He touched my stuff. I didn't like it. <laughs> He's like, Let's keep our hands sorcerer. to ourselves. Shit, kids. Let's just pull back over. <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, um, I'd I also. Yeah. Sorry. Um. I a, a cantrip is a spell that can be cast at will. Yeah. Uh, so the cantripness mm. is uh, is it's just the fact that it, it, you don't have to use a spell slot. You can cast it whenever you oh, want. Okay. That's yeah. That's what defines mm. it as cantripy. And counter spell is like what third level or lower you automatically do it. So I feel like third level and lower would also include zero level spells. Cantrips. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, and then I'd like to take the remainder. If I've already long rested, I'd like to take some time and reconjure my floating disc, if I could. Yeah, well, we'll just go to morning so that you can guys can actually have your long rest. Um, so now it's okay. morning, and now you can do things like that. <laughs> just for flavor, that little bit <laughs> that I just where I yelled at them. Can I have yelled at them as a cat body and Erdris head? <laughs> you did. <laughs> You have really no choice during the night, yeah. Oh, wait, right, so then so when that's you, how that you typically go back to your, like, werecat form, it's an Eridris head but a cat body? Yes, yeah. whenever it's nighttime, oh, that's God. what it is, basically. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, <sighs> yeah, so you wake up, and it's morning. And the first thing Darrow is, he's like, I would like to reflect on myself <sighs> Compact disc into reality. Oh sure, yeah, go ahead. Oh. Whatever makes you happy in the morning. Oh, I feel so much better, you guys. Um, Anybody hungry? Anybody want some uh, warm tuna jerky? Or I don't know. I can melt. You know, I can really go for some, some tuna jerky right now. 
hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh, perfect! Vince just vomits in the corner. <laughs> oh. Um, little buddy! I'll cast him like, I'll make him, I'll cast him like healing magic, make him feel warm. You okay? You sick? You need water? More tuna jerky? Like Chocolate? Magic, <laughs> magical some? energy starts to like approach him and he like stops it with his hand. He's like, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so gross. Understand personal Whoa. space, no problem. I will be over here. And I'll leave him be. Mm. Awesome. Hey, uh, hey yeah, Steve, do you want some tuna jerky? Oh, yeah, Dad, that sounds great. I'm just giving a little bit of. <laughs> oh my God, I'll make another batch later. That sounds awesome. Oh, oh my God. Shit. Well, should uh, we go see Ivan Tor? Oh, where's there. Where's Daro in uh, like relation to everybody else? I think he's just right next. Are to we you all guys. like right there? Okay. Yeah, he was just like you know. We're all chilling, meditating. Okay, I wanna I wanna grab a, a piece of jerky and walk over to Daro and be like, "Hey, man, uh, here's some jerky. I guess I, I'm sorry I went through your stuff last night." Uh, is is that tuna jerky you're offering me? Uh, it's kind of all we got. <laughs> no, that's fucking awesome. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. How did yeah, you know tuna, I love jerky. tuna jerky? Jolie jo jo made it. Put it in my oh. mouth. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just hand it to you. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> Wait, catch from over here, and I'll throw a little piece of tuna jerky. <laughs> Can I try oh, to catch it? I yeah. rolled a seven. That's my throw. <laughs> it's a bad you gotta, throw. You gotta cross your eye. Exactly. You gotta cross your eyes a little bit when you do that. <laughs> um, she instead of like tossing it gently, she like darts it at you, and it like goes into your eye, you know, and you take one. Damage. <laughs> oh, sorry. You take one damage. One damage. <laughs> That, for tuna me, that is, jerky that is fucking a lot. Tuna that damage. Is so much. <laughs> Chicken <laughs> of the sea damage. Tuna damage. Dude, that's going to be my new fighting name. I'm going to make. <laughs> I'm going to add tuna jerky to the ends of my arrow tips. So dry wow. and so sharp. That should be your new Instagram handle. Tuna. Tuna damage. Uh, any, anyway, <laughs> uh. Uh, it's right, it's fine, down. Togu. You give me t tuna uh, jerky a a at any point. It will probably resolve most of our issues. I fucking love that shit. But don't touch that book. It's very scary. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, I mean, I, I'm 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 gonna be honest with you. I. I. I read the book. I, oh I know shit! It's in the book. Oh. Uh, I know it's in how, the book. how much of it did you read? Out of curiosity. <laughs> um enough uh okay well uh can you cast did you understand both the language and the enunciation of the spells or did you just read some words and uh kind of put them down in your mind wow um i thought he was an ass for a second <laughs> <laughs> i guess the answer to your questions is yes okay uh well that's very scary uh, if you <laughs> blow us all up, uh, I warned you. <laughs> I turned to Vince. I'm like, hey, Vint, uh, how about we, we head on outside and maybe scout out where we're going to go? Come on. Yeah. Do you want to maybe take something from the knickknack table? Take a little souvenir of this weird adventure <laughs> you're on. Yeah, Vint. Oh, sorry, I just heard the scream in the background, so it was funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, what, whatever you guys want to do. Well, do, do you want to take anything well, from here? Take something. Yeah, do you, do you want it? Oh, I don't know. I, I just think... Oh, come on. Everything's free here. It's like a uh, swap meet on a Sunday. Well, I guess yeah, I could that. use a new weapon. <laughs> Oh yeah. You have go, go find one. <laughs> um, and he just like digs through like one of the the bodies and like finds a little dagger and he's all excited about it. Yeah. Hey, there you go. 
Oh, give nice, it nice it, like, to turns him into, it, like turns him into a <laughs> warlock and he's like forever possessed and evil. <laughs> um, oh, Togu, the recipe that you know, by the way, it's Potion of Desolation. Oh. Damn. Um, so yeah, while you guys have your conversation, me and Vint are going to go outside. I'll follow. Okay. Um, it, if Daryl lets you, <laughs> he has blocked the exit. Uh, with so I, get, I walk out. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, Daryl, I... just real quick, can you uh, can you do that? Um, just one of these. We'll fix yeah. It. Uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely, and also Togu, I, no, no hard feelings. I'm sure you're a very capable mage, and I just like to uh, release the uh, shape earth. Thanks. Okay. Just walk. <laughs> okay, so you go outside. I was like, follow Um Yeah, so you guys start to head outside, and. Um, yeah, so it's no longer raining. It's morning time in the swamp lands. And um, very, yeah, very different kind of vibe than last time you were there. Guys, I just dropped my dice. Oh, drink, everybody! Drink. Um, you can see in the distance uh, through some of the swamp lands, like above some of the, like the trees and uh, shrubbery, um, that there are some buildings down to the south. Like you can a shrubbery, see shrubbery. We demand a shrubbery, a nice, <laughs> but not too expensive. <laughs> can I do a little nature check to see if there's any edible berries? So we have Shit, some yeah. variety. Absolutely. <laughs> to our tuna jerky. <laughs> <laughs> to round off okay, the meal. <laughs> I got a three. Oh, man. You <laughs> find, We're killing it tonight. You find, uh, like, these berries that are, like, white and yellow. Huh. I've never seen these before. No. Nope. Well. I'll um, grab some put them in my pocket anyway. <laughs> okay. They're Can... literally called poison berries. <laughs> <laughs> they have a name tag? Yeah. Or did they say you, you yeah. like... one of them is poison berry, one of them is Carl. I yeah. pick them and they're like, I'm poison berry. <laughs> Hello, poison my berry. name is poison berry. <laughs> I remember. Uh, just for your inventory, you have four poison berries. Okay. And they're bitter. And if you were to eat ten of them, it would kill you. Hmm. <laughs> you she won't. picks six more berries. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> to make ten. You only, you only find four. <laughs> <laughs> the conundrum. Fine. <laughs> yeah. If you take only one of them, they make a trip. <laughs> there you go. I just want to turn, like, and put my head back into, like, the little crypt and be like, well, hey, you guys, if um, if you guys are done talking, talk, talk, uh, we can see <laughs> southern south or lower south or uh, right over there, 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 because it's a crypt. Togu, would you like to accompany them? I promise I'll stop giving you shit about your spellcasting <laughs> ability. <laughs> yeah, let's let's kick it. All right. And he stabs you in the kidney on yes, the way out. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys head up to the top, and uh, yeah, you can see in the distance uh, south or ahead of you. Um, and you start to embark on your way. And we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we'll see Why? you guys soon. Uh, bye.
All right, and we are back, my friends. Thank you so, so much. So let me for tell you about Dice Envy. <laughs> 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 but for real, Dice Envy, they are an affiliate <laughs> so with us. Good. And they put out some great new dice today, the Green Dragon. You should check it out. Among their other different types of dice, acrylic, metal, wood, rock. I guess it's actually technically stone, not rock, but they have great dice. Um, we've hit a few nat 20s with it tonight. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. Uh, Diceenvy.com backslash the Bobcat Shade. Check it out. Green Dragon. All right, Austin, you can finish the intro. Okay, great. Yeah, no, that was wonderful. Appreciate that. That was lovely. <laughs> um, that was good. <laughs> well, you guys are now outside in the swamp land. Um, you've been walking through... Um, you know, like what you know, walking through all these like the swamp, this marshlands through like water, and, and everything's kind of wetland. And uh, eventually, you do make it um, to Lower Souther. Um, and Lower Souther is, is known for being more of like an actual open town. Um, what you guys have learned about Lower Souther is that it's definitely the headquarters of the pirate group, the Slinters, or the Slinter. And, um, yeah, it's, you, you don't feel like you have to be as standoffish or sneaky as you were with Upper Souther, which is owned mainly by, or ran by the Art Diddy, which is a very closed off group. And um, as you guys uh, start to approach the town, um, or the city, rather, um, there's this very, very, like, uh, interesting looking sailor that immediately approaches you, Eridris. Um, and he stumbles towards you. And it's it, in seconds you're aware that he's very drunk. And he's like, "What's down, good looking?" Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, that that's quite nice of you. Um, I'd like to see it, you go, and I'd like to see you stay. <laughs> Again. Um, Thank you. It's very, very nice. Um, uh, yeah, I like do you want to give him a here. hug? Do you want to give him are, a hug? Are you as funny as you are hot? <laughs> Maybe, I oh, hey. him, Maybe I should give oh. him some of the quickening potion. Bring him up a little bit. No, no, I don't, does, does that, is that, is that I how, don't is think that we can works, get Julie? any more up than we are now. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, I'm like eye level, bro. Not cool. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. Um you have a lot of friends. Oh. What's with your feet? Maybe you should move hey, on bro. now. Hey, oh. bro, that's not cool. I just anyway. T what are you I, doing tonight? I I wouldn't take it personally. He seems to be completely like unaware of my cat face or something. I don't It just uh. it's just Yeah. It's just, it's just weird that he'd be like like Okay with Into my it? face and not okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, it's, it's gonna... hey, hey, man! Like Good for you. Face. Good for you. You could do what? the shave, but I like it. Okay. Um. Do you know that where where we can find <laughs> Ivan Tor? I don't want to sound too forward, but do you want to get a drink with me? You know, I don't know what? If we're gonna get much help from this fella. Um, yeah, I think I think that's fair <laughs> to say. Um, if you tell us where Ivan Tor is after we take care of our errands, I will have a drink with you. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know, man. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Um, and guys, let's uh, let's get going. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <Yeah, just leave. laughs> Alright, so I am more than have... happy to leave this. <laughs> <laughs> that he was has... the most important NPC we were supposed to like follow up with, and we're like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> now we'll never know and we're gonna enter into Souther. Um, so you guys just entered near the, the seaside armor. Um, and that's kind of the 
Oops. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. You guys headed from the north, so you actually entered right near the, the shaman and filer. Sorry, the oh, shaman. Tight. Shaman and Filer. That Shaman and Filer. The Shaman. Shaman. Yeah, right near the Shaman and Filer and Water's Edge. Uh, the northern part of the, the town. I'm pulling up the, the map right now. Yes, yeah, me too. You came in the northern entrance. Beautiful by Water's Edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not because of the <laughs> We're doing all the accents that everyone wishes we didn't have. Um, <laughs> yes. A reenactment cool. of Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, I see where we are. Cool. Uh, do we do we know where Ivan Tor is, DM? Like, have we... I don't know if we referenced it. We don't. Like, what is things called? No. All right. So you said his what? His his thing. His like his his shop. Okay. His, what is it called? I was making I was making a a wiener joke because it made me giggle. I had a <laughs> or a theater. vagina joke. Does noise it could be? be a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look really close at this map because like the verse uh, it's small. Um, yeah. In, 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 Are on, we still uh, on talking my about this thingy? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. it could also Sorry. be a small vagina. <laughs> Who knows? It could. <laughs> um, Incredibly small. Well, <laughs> guys, um, I I have no idea. I have no idea where Ivan Tor is. Um, okay. I just feel like I feel like we need to drop Vint off before trying to find Tuyuya because. Um, because he's, he's already been through so much. And I, Vince, I just want to look over at Vint um, to see what he's doing right now. Yeah, um, he's just been, like, picking his nose for, like, the last five minutes. I mean, look at him. Is because he from here, I forgot. Who is this to you yet? What, what are we doing here? Sorry. Um, he uh, is a... Uh... Is, is a friend of ours who we think may be in some trouble. Ah, uh, okay. I just curious. Let's let's find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's one of our errands. One of our. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of things. Um. So, yeah. I guess maybe we. Which one of these buildings looks like a tavern? Surely there will be somebody there that knows where shit is. Wait, wait, where is Vint from here? I don't remember where this where he's from. Vint, are you from here? I guess I could he's... ask him. No, I've <laughs> I've never I've never been to South. I've always wanted to go, but never hey. worked out. Well welcome, buddy, huh? You did yeah, it, my... man. Yeah, look at you. My uh my dad always wanted to take me here. Oh, oh well, you made yeah. it! You made it, you, you made it, buddy. Now you have five dads. <laughs> yeah, we're all your dad. Sweet. Yep. Let's <laughs> let's let's celebrate and get you to your hero. Do you want a drink? He's not <laughs> a dad. I, we already gave him a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, moms, you still I, I offered drink. him some of this quicken spell that I don't know how many. <laughs> Bottle cap yeah, gave the, the worst babysitters ever. <laughs> oh, not good. No. Not good at all. Actually, really good. <laughs> We're just recreating adventures in babysitting, but in Dean. <laughs> Nobody Do leaves out there without singing the blues. Year old. <laughs> so That's bad. true. And I made her an alcoholic, like, second session. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you guys yeah. walk in, you do see Water's Edge. Um, it seems like a kind of a nice restaurant. So not quite a tavern. We're all dirty, <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys, eh, not great. Yeah. Dirty girl. Dirty girl. Um, <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Um, Darrow, do you think you, you think you could do us a favor real quick? You're, but, you, you're, oh, you're the okay. night... The thing is, you're the nicest looking of all of us. You got those fancy clothes on that you got there. 
looking all sharp. Um, can you pop into this fancy restaurant and see if anyone knows where to find Ivan Tor? Listen, Ivan. you're not wrong, and I'll do that, but I want you to understand it's not because you complimented me. <laughs> and then I'd like to turn around and do it. <laughs> you do have really nice cheekbones. You do, and Jolie. butt cheeks. You, your <laughs> butt cheeks are very nice for a goblin. I appreciate that. I, I turn to the rest of the brigade. The brigade. I'm like, good job, you guys. I think this is how we were, we're nice. I think this is how we're friends. Just yeah, tell them nice through things. manipulation. Yeah. <laughs> this is how we. But the nice kind. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, Darrow, just to be clear, uh, you do have nice clothes on. However, just you've been trudging clear. through the mud for like an entire, <laughs> I don't know, half a day. Um. You're gross still. So you walk into this place, um, and it's like a curtained area with just a, a man sitting behind like a little like booth area, um, like a little stand, and he just goes, <clears throat> "Can I help you, sir?" Yes. Uh, what What was your name? Is there something I can help you with, sir? Yes, uh, I both need a drink and I need to find out the location of a very valuable asset. Indeed. And he, I'm like, so looks excited for the you small up and down. And I, think, I think the only valuable asset that you need, sir, is a good hard <laughs> cleaning and a new pair of clothes. You're not wrong. I smell disgusting and I'd like to rub my face with the ring with my signet ring just kind of really front and center uh i am just fucking disgusting right now i need cleaned i need you to get your staff on top of that i need a drink and i need some information um i i i'm i'm so sorry uh, there, there's actually a back entrance i could i could arrange for someone to help you you're fucking right i have some friends as well they need uh, an equal shower they are my uh uh, how do you f uh, fucking uh, people call it down here? Uh, the my posse. Uh, I I need <laughs> assistance. Absolutely. Um, please please come around the back of the entrance and, and we can take care of you, sir. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and I'd I'd like to just like yell outside and uh, say, bottle cap brigade, bottle cap brigade. Uh, come come around the back. In some weird old timey accent, for some reason. <laughs> I mean, you have to literally, Daryl, because he's not going to bring you through the main entrance, which is probably something you want as well to maintain, right, your status, not look like shit, and walk through this nice high class place. So he's like doing you a favor. So the assumption is that you would go out as well. So you don't need to like call out to them unless you want to, but you would have to walk back out. Oh, to them happens. Door, but... I kind of want to do it anyway. Yeah, I just yeah. I want to yell in an old time. <laughs> we all just yeah. roll in. I'm just like, sure, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to hear the <laughs> voice. Like, who, the, <laughs> who the hell is that? That's <laughs> it's how you guys walk when you're all. Apart. We're all walking on um, the same foot, same arm movement. <laughs> yeah, I've got um, dog feet. How the fuck am I supposed to walk? It's true. <laughs> So uh, you come around the side, and it's the same guy that was at the front. And, and he's like, I, I apologize for, for the meager um, options we have. This is not technically or usually a, a place that we would do such a thing. Um, and then there's like two kind of uh, like servant people that live in the back of this building that work there. And he like shoes them. He's like, shoo, shoo, go, go. And then like makes them like leave their living quarters. Um, and then there is like a bath and like a, you know, an, an area. Um, he's like, if you guys would like to use the facilities, I will procure one, two, three, five um, outfits for you. We we would love that. And if you could let uh, the servants know, uh, and I, I'd like to slip him ten gold. Uh, if you if you'd like Ooh. to let the servants know that they were taken care of by the Rossbrooks, that would be wonderful. And and don't forget an outfit for little our little buddy here, Vint. Oh, and then like out from around, like he's like hiding behind you, Jolie. And then he's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, six of you. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, so you guys go and you clean yourself. We don't need to RP that. You get naked, you shower, you come out, and he gives you clothes. You are now clothed very, very nicely. Um, I use, uh, sorry, really quick. I'd like to use shape water as Togu is uh, like bathing <laughs> himself to give this him a little why, whoopsie. This is why every session takes so long. 
This is the reason right here. And it's actually Flavor. also Is also this like great. a nice spa? <laughs> Can I have a yeah. cucumbers on my eyes moment? <laughs> is there a bidet? Can I have cucumbers <laughs> so, on my nuts <laughs> moment? Um, tap, We're bidet. We are cucumbering. <laughs> I don't think you should ever RP with anything with taking a shit anymore. Like you should. 100%. If there's a bidet, though, if there's a bidet, oh, anytime bidet. anyone uses it, I, I crank that motherfucker up to like a thousand <laughs> with shape water. I fucking. Okay. These are. These are <laughs> I want a bidet. It's a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the servant quarters. You guys are going in a bath, of which Daryl went in first, and then you all got into the water that he was in afterward. Now, I'd like uh, to clean it after every single time. I want to clean it. I will create uh, wow. create or destroy water spell before my bath. <laughs> <laughs> I will use a fucking spell slot for that. I want to use the water to make it warm. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you're just making it seem clean? Or are you actually cleaning it? I, I'm making it seem clean. It sounds like Miranda's actually replacing it before hers, and Adris is uh, warming it up. <laughs> I'm just jumping in. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's time right. to jump in. Tech does a cannonball. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I was going to, too. Okay, Tech, you're, you're the there. only one that goes in Darrow's gross water, and everyone else uh, either <laughs> sit up or like completely yes. you know, cleanses it. Um, and then Togu, you, you get second-hand water from Jolie. Mm -hmm. All right, great. I'm glad we talked about that. I'm, I'm glad that needed to happen. Um, and you're I'm all clipping clean. It. I'm Tack clipping it. I really wanted to stop. <laughs> Tack is mostly clean. Okay, great. And you guys are all Sounds wearing, horrible. like, noble, nobleman, um, or noble clothing. Like, very nice silk. Mm-hmm. Cool. I tell you what, Taro, if you keep pulling these Drapey connections, I, I tell you what, man, I take back any bad thing these guys said about you. This is incredible. Thank you very much. I My sleeves are so slippery. Look One how thing... droopy they are. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> One thing that many of these commoners don't understand is that living with a shitload of money feels really good on your skin. <laughs> <laughs> That it does. Great. What do you call yes. this fabric? It's so soft. Uh, it's velvet, probably. Velvet. 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 I Made from the purest sacrificed lambs. Oh. Is that really where velvet's from? It's from lambs? I don't know, man. Minute. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually so have warmer. no idea how you make velvet. So. Cotton. Or, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Comment below how you make velvet. Cool. I don't know. Cool. How do yeah. you make velvet? From lanolin. Huh? I just oh. made that up. Don't listen to me. Oh. <laughs> I fucking believed you. Like, like cheap. I've wool? just been singing. I've just been singing black velvet in my head since we started this whole thing. That's fair. <laughs> is uh, the uh, nature d or whatever the guy is here? <laughs> uh, is, is, is concierge. Is he the concierge guy or whatever. I don't. I don't know the difference. So I don't. Oh, he is yeah, that he's... guy still here? Um, sure. You guys. Uh, okay. I mean, he kind of works the whole place. What, what do you want to do? I was, um, oh, wow. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Um, do you happen to know where uh, we can find uh, a gentleman by the name of Ivan Tor? Oh, Ivan Tor. Yeah. Everyone just calls him Inventor yeah. around here. Oh. Well, huh. Okay. I mean, I guess. Is his name Ivan Tor? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, yeah. That's uh, I. We 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 met his we met his brother Calvin, Calvin Tor. Oh, Calvin Tor. Well, that makes sense. That's so weird. Anyway. I know, um, right? So... Whoever came up with it was very clever. Very. It's a brilliant idea, I'd say. Um, yeah. Very creative. Well, um, mm -hmm. sir. Yes, of course. Um, Ivan Tor uh, is, is, is located in, in Lower South. Or, um, you can find him in, in Summer's End. He owns a charcoal distribution mm. company. Charcoal? Oh, uh, right. Excellent. Let me look at my map again. Yes, he's always inventing various ideas. Some work well and 
Some not so much. You have been most helpful. Thank you. And, and I, I, I want to try to do some kind of like like rich person bow or something, but... Okay. Mm, and what's awesome about it is that up. nobody does that. And so he just looks at you and goes... <laughs> yes. Um, do I see this? Yeah, you do. All right. Can I just say... Do, uh, I am so sorry. He just... He's new. Uh, he's one of my newer servants. I, uh, sorry. I, I look at Daryl. I'm like, too much? Was that too much? Was that too much? <laughs> do that i uh, i send ong uh oh, okay. down like over to him and ong just kind of cause uh as loudly as he can uh to distract from what's happening what does that sound like darrow it's like a fucked up oh. throat <laughs> yep both, both air just in the sky are like, oh my god. <laughs> is your familiar okay? Is he what the fuck? He's sick. It sounds sick. <laughs> He's sick. Yeah, do, he gonna, does he need to heal? No. It sounds like he's caught no. a feather ball. That bird needs a we, snake. We don't worry about Ong. Ong is fine. Ong just Wait. um sometimes he gets lost uh between here in the Fey Realm. Uh, and some infernal comes out. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. What's your oh. bird's name? It, it's Ong, with a G, Wait, and an A it, oh. and an N. A N. Your uh, bird's what name is What are you spelling? No, no, ignore Well, he spelled it that way. He said G N A. Eridris. Did he just say its name is Ong? Yeah, like, like Ong, like. Do you? How, how, this, how, how, how did you that get this sick. this bird? Oh, uh, he's my familiar. I learned to conjure him my first year of sorcery school. Uh, it's a very long story. Let me tell the entire thing to you. I was in uh, conjuration <laughs> class 101, uh, and I was sitting around with some of my mates. Uh, they really liked me because I'm rich, and we uh, were sitting around with the professor, and the professor said, Hey, I bet none of you can conjure a familiar. And I said, I bet you I fucking can. And then I pull out my ritual book uh, from the Ross Books family, family and I read uh, the uh, Find Familiar spell. And now I have a hawk named Ong. It told me that right when it came into existence from the Fae Realm. That is. It, 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 to it, it told you it's so name random. Ong? Yeah, I speak to it. It's a familiar. How, 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 old, is, how old is Ong? How, how long have you had Ong? Ong, how old are you? I've never asked. And Ong just kind of says, I say, uh, Ong seems to be 708 years old. Your bird is oh. very sick sounding. <laughs> Sometimes. Doesn't need a scarf uh, or something to keep warm. <laughs> so, uh, uh, sorry about the questions, Darrow. It's just that the the uh, our our companion that we um that we had the, the service for yesterday is was also named Ong. Um and it's just it's just an odd odd coincidence, I guess, everybody. Um mm. serendipitous. I guess Quite so. a strange coincidence indeed. <laughs> well um <laughs> let's uh <laughs> let's head to summer's end, I suppose. Yeah. Also, here's this for your bird, and I I mended it a tiny little scarf. <laughs> oh, what color really is it? I just think the throat needs to be warm. It's green and white strapped. Okay. With a little uh, emblem Beautiful. that says that's a bottle cap. Thank you so also, much, Also, a Philly. merch idea. <laughs> that's f hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh, you're um, welcome, little buddy. And I give on a little scratch on the head. Well, thank you so much, and Ong, Ong very much appreciates that. Ong Teller, and I'd like Ong just to say, well, thank you very much, little lady. Oh, Y'all! Did, uh, did we Did we all hear it? I can't. It's up to DM. Oh, yeah. Tack face. I don't know. Can it even speak if he hears it. I Yeah, let me look. I honestly don't know. I yeah, I'm not know. sure either. Take your time. Because if so, we're about to... If so, we're about to freak the fuck out. <laughs> yes, 100%. Uh, hey, uh, PBR, 
stay in your lane, okay? This stuff's kind of trash. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try that so bad now. Yeah. Right. You're not uh, doing a good job of not selling it, Austin, because... <laughs> I know. I'm only Wait, boring. actually, remember so last session when he tried can, to, like... It can mimic things that I tell it to do, but it can't actually, like, speak them. So it could, like, mimic that, but it, um, it, I mean, it doesn't, like, comprehend. Just for flair, I have speak with animals, so I don't know. Maybe there's, like, a little residual effect. Yeah, I mean, it's a hawk. It's a hawk, right? That's me yeah. saying that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a spell. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't cast it or anything. Just make it I mean, an you can for... if you want to use a spell slot. <laughs> no. All right. It, you just hear it. And normally birds are like, ah! right? But this one is like, ah! and whenever it jumps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's sick, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> What do we know? <laughs> That's true. What do we know? Nothing. Well, well let's uh, let's let's get Vince to, over to uh, over to Ivan Tour. Yes. Well, and uh, before we leave, to uh, uh, concierge, I'd like to just uh, what was your name again? I'm sorry, I, I have a poor memory for these things. Bargo. Bargo. Uh, would you ensure to both? Uh, uh, you know, put the room and board on the Rossbrook tab for me, and also um, inform all of the neighboring saloons and brothels and uh, places of rest uh, in the area that I am around. I, I have my signet papers, and uh, that if either myself or my friends need assistance, that they should be offering that um, without any sort of resistance. Oh, sir, that's already been done. Wonderful, fucking wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate Absolutely. it. <laughs> yes. um, and was that he, was that in any way ominous? Like it sounded a little ominous when you did it. <laughs> was it supposed to come off that way? Uh, it's, it's a little you know, bit ominous. Rich people, <laughs> you know, they're just all about. Yeah, uh, like these. Uh, I don't know. Like the fact that it, it's like news that you're in town, right? And it's like, oh, a Rothbrook is in town. You know, that's spreading fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you're rich town. and want to sponsor us, today, well, hey, bottlecapbrigade.com. Yeah, it's the wealthy of the pirate nation. You'll discover slinters are kind of weird and different, and also apparently take shits. On people's stuff, which I oh, didn't. This is this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're I so rich. That was something wherever. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that was my story. It like didn't fit into like anything that I wrote for the, these people, and I was like, "What do I? What do I do?" I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, they're they're definitely not as like basic trope pirates as you would think. Um, except they shit on people's stuff. Perfect. Mm -hmm. so. Can't wait. There you go. Um, yes, and then you say you goodbye guys... to the major D, and the major D just shits. <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys leave and now you're like dressed really fine and Darrow all is, of the is... all of the clothes all of the clothes are just like <laughs> tunics and kilts so that there's like just straight droppage oh, so they don't no, have to no, do anything no. just like open and really flowy <laughs> sleeves they, they all have, they all have buttoned butt flaps <laughs> <laughs> no, we're I'm sense. walking like this because I think it's rich Oh yeah, yeah I'm just like, like spinning like everywhere. Uh, DM, are the robes that Tack and I have, are they like made for smaller people? Yeah, <laughs> you're in a robe. <laughs> okay. No, this I was is making sure because it's like like walking with like the sleeves dragging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like I'm thinking of like that, that Mulan scene, like the cartoon where they're like dressing her up yeah. and all this stuff and like the sleeves are like, you know, like two yeah. feet long. Right. Yeah. Um, no, Super well, it is kind of, it is kind of that style. 
I don't want to sing any Mulan. I almost did, and we'll stop that. Um, <laughs> it's like, but it it's is hard. kind of a style for the sleeves to go past the end of your hands, but certainly these are like nice tailored outfits. So you guys can write that down. Lady. You have tailored, velvet, noble clothes in your inventory now. I just, this is a day Do I just have two pairs? Stuff. <laughs> you, you, nice. You have a, uh, a pair. Um, so, yes. You guys leave there. Where where are you headed? You going to Summer's End? Yay. Okay. Yeah. So you guys go yeah. through town. You this. notice that a lot of people are staring at you. Like everyone in town. Um, and you're kind of going through the, the rich, posher area of town. Um, and slowly you do make it to Summer's End. And it is just a drastic difference. In fact, you're starting to get um, like people staring at you, but it's a little different where they're not like, oh, and they're like whispering stuff to each other, like different noble people, but like they're, it's getting shadier and shadier and you're almost like going to like shanty town in different areas um, and a lot of pirates and that kind of uh, vibe and a lot of people are drunk and different things. And um, yeah, it's just, you're, you guys are starting to get kind of uncomfortable. And finally you reach summer's end you can see a lot of black smoke coming out of this chimney of like this smallish kind of factory looking building. Um, and the front door looks incredibly complicated with gadgets, widgets, <coughs> items, and different things. Um, and you just see a bright blue button on the door. Uh, do, we, I, 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 do we take a shit on it? What's that? Just we shit on it. So what do you, what do you think, Agnes? <laughs> well, you go in? I mean, if it's... If it's anything like the other one, I hit the blue button. <laughs> uh oh. They are brothers. So you hit this thing. Um, as soon as you touch it, you just see this hammer go down, like, which crushes this other thing. It like that, that then like moves this thing upside down, and water goes, which moves water through this tube that then goes into this like pump. It's like. And it like fills up this canister that then like fires this little like pistol into like something else and it catches it and swings it back around and you're just like shh, 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 shh. and this thing spinning and you watch this like like crossbar spinning go, shh, shh. and the door opens that was super cool I, uh, hey Vince did you see that did you see that buddy and the guy like he like looks up picking his nose like what? We <laughs> love this dude. You missed it. We're at we're at your hero's house. Like this is, dude. Really? And then he just see um... him <laughs> run in front of you and go in. <laughs> it's like such a kid thing to do. You? <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, and then I follow. Okay, right behind him. Awesome. So uh, you're all going in there. So you guys go in. And um, you see a very interesting sight. There are carts and carts. I'm almost thinking like um, old school kind of like, I, I keep thinking of like Donkey Kong or something, but like where it's like on a railroad. You know, like oh, little, like a oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, there are lots of those. Mine cart. Like piles and piles of, uh, thank you, of uh, charcoal. Um, and you can see that kind of a furnace that's like cooking, like all this, like creating charcoal out of wood and different materials. Um, and, and then over to the left is like this, uh, big circular area where there's just tons of books and different things. Um, it looks like kind of like research, different things. And then over to the right is, uh, just this, this doorway that's closed. Um, but you see a couple people like shoveling charcoal. Um, and then you also see, um, a little, like, gnome kind of messing with these books over to the left. Um, I want to walk up to the gnome and be like, uh, uh, excuse me, are, are you Ivan? Um, this guy's, like, messing with books and looks up with you. It looks up at you. He has one tooth. He has eyebrows that are about the size, uh, about twice the size of oh. his head. Um, completely bald, um, and just kind of like rosy cheeks. And he looks at you and he's like, huh? Um, we're, we're looking for, for Ivan Tor. We were sent from, from, from Sculling, uh, by, by Calvin. Calvin. Yeah. Ivan. Yeah. As you guys are like talking 
um, you just hear like this as the and then you hear like a as the two doors open and this um, other small gnome is in like this wheelchair that he's like pressing the thing forward and he's moving closer to you in this like two wheeled you know wheelchair Professor um, X a little gnome yeah <laughs> uh, and he has a full head of hair it's like long and coming down and it's just this big curly mustache um, and he's rolling out and he's holding uh, this child, he's holding Vint. He's like, Does this belong to any of you? Oh! oh. There. Hi. Uh, uh, you must be Ivan. Are you messing with Guck? He's a nice lad, but not too smart. Oh. Um, no. Uh, we, uh, we just didn't know who to, who to look for. Um, uh, hey, we are, we are the Bottle Cat Brigade. Guck looks at you, he's like, Guck. <laughs> ah, Guck. I, I just give him a big old thumbs up. Thanks for your help, Guck. Um, yeah, we, we, we are the Bottle Cap Brigade. Um, we, we, we come from Sculling. Um, your, your, your brother Calvin sent, sent us. Well, sent um, me and to, it's a, it's a long story. I'm told you. My brother sent you. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen him as uh, Calvin, right? Not the other brother. Yes, yes, Calvin. But uh, we mm. we didn't we didn't know you had another brother. Well, but I'm excited are. about it. You don't know who I am. Why would I? I don't care. Who knows of you? What you know and what you don't know. Let me tell you this. I don't like Calvin. Out of all my brothers, the least favorite. Always interested in steam-powered things and inventing wheeled two or three wheeled vehicles very strange kind of an idiot um i i i understand if you guys might have your differences um the the, the reason he sent us to you is because um you uh, you happened to possibly be interested in a particular practice um that uh, that would help us a little bit um <laughs> okay. and, and I, I'll, oh, i'm just like nudge you, you, so you, you, a little bit. Calvin is so stupid that he thinks a quantum four eye would erupt with a fourteen caliber itemized weaponry with only steam using the quantum physics of entirely only a frog. Uh, DM ridiculous? question: Do I yeah. get the joke? DM: Do I get uh, the joke? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No way is he that stupid. No He's, way. Exactly. <laughs> Guck, you get it. Guck, you get it. He goes, Guck. <laughs> Guck gets it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you say? Uh, Toku, go show him your, show him your skin. My what? Your, your, your skin. Hey. Show him your skin. Your skin. Um, Jolie and Tack, uh, there's something I haven't kind of told you guys. Um, what is so it? I guess, oh, uh, uh, I mean, you brought it up, man. Thanks for outing me in front of everybody. I, I was whispering so that you can show. No one knows what's going on. They're not. We're, I'm not specific about what's happening, and I didn't say <laughs> the the type of things that he practices. I'm being Ivan, very discreet. M- Ivan, my name is Togu. I am a gnome from Skulling. I am a of the Jessica family, um, and we. I I am in a bit of a uh, predicament, to say the least. That's a and I'm time. not talking about my duck feet. <laughs> Surprisingly. Cool. I thought those were You shoes. don't think your duck feet's a little bit of it? I mean, it's a little bit about his duck feet. Well, also um, my cat face, here. but... Come closer, Tozu. Let me inspect you. Um, and he's in this wheelchair, and you <laughs> come over to him. Um, and you see him, like, 
flip over this. It's like a what do you call those? They're for mm -hmm. one eye. A mo for monocle. Uh, monocle. It's or a monocle. A, a loop. Yeah. Monica? Okay. Well, it, it, he's or this monocle. Half of your glasses. And you him, yeah, and you see him like tap the side of it, and it's like you know where it, like it like a uh, it, it mm -hmm. keeps extending so you can see closer. Oh, so microscope. Yeah, the microscope, and he's like looking at your your body and inspecting you. He's like, "Great Scott." Great Scott. Great Scott, Marty. <laughs> I know. Um, hmm. uh, no, uh, Togu. Who, who did this to you, Scott? Um, I mean, Togu. It was it was kind of a combination of of, of things. Um, it was a guy by the name of Sir Harvey. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I mean, that I mean, well, but Erdus wasn't was what wasn't Brick involved as well? Brick just helped your lungs. Okay. We. Are... Yeah, I've 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 been through a, a bit of a bit of stuff. Come with me. I find this to be very interesting. And he leads you into that side room that he came out of, and they're like like two swinging doors. Um, and then guys? about a few. Yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, guys, and I want to grab Airdress by his hand or by his pants or whatever to make sure he stays with me. <laughs> Uh, take okay, <laughs> you go in with him. Um, they're in there for a while. Um, Darrow, Jolie, and Tack, you just watch this wheelchair go into this room, and then Togu and Eric just holding hands going into this room. You still don't know what the fuck's going on. I mean, last time we were at his brother's house, Tack, you were in a tank for forever, so probably just doing some more experiments or, you know. Damn, that felt terrible. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as bad for him as it was for me. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know he was hurting you in there. No, it was. It just I felt weird after. No pain, just oh. I didn't feel right. No, you oh, were 30. in the tank. Yeah, it was awkward. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess um, we'll, we'll stand here. <laughs> yeah, you guys finish talking and they come back out. Um, Eridris is like at the point of laughter. Like he saw some of the most embarrassing shit about Togu. And Togu has had things um, all over his body, um, including some like stuff that's entered every orifices on his body. And he's like walking a little weird. Like it's, they and tested. Like weird her. <laughs> whack, weird. Whack, whack, whack. Everywhere. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and yeah, so you just see him walking out there, just like about to laugh. Uh, and he's like, and then he rolls out with the wheelchair. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, Togu, are you okay? You seem to be walking kind of strange. <laughs> it's because he put stuff in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Huber. Uh, Togu, uh, it turns out, um, well, I mean, I'm sure you know you're not yourself, are you? Um, sort of. Well, uh, I don't know how to say this any other way than just say it, so here we go. You've been snouched. I... Uh... Dude, they're so, right there. Like, you, Eric just saw what, what happened. You don't have to tell everybody else. Uh, hey, no want... judgment here. I, I still don't know what snilched means. Oh, I so... thought it was what he did. I, I thought it was what he just did to me in the back room. Oh, okay. And those are just, those are, those are tests to make, okay, it doesn't matter. Look, you've been snilched. You've been soul snatched, okay? Soul moved from one body to another vessel. Soul snatched, snulched. It's a very sophisticated and dark spell. You can move one soul to another body. Does that make sense? Do so, I know wait, anything uh, about uh, this? Uh, you're a sorcerer. Yes, it's like the highest level of sorcery ever. Okay. Um, excuse me. I, Ivan, um, 
So, so I'm still me. I'm just me in a different body. Uh, in essence, you are Toku in Duck Toku version. <laughs> so, so where where did where did Duck Togu come from? Well, that's a good question. I imagine whoever this very high level sorcerer was um, procured it somehow. It, it, is is there any way to fix it? Well, of course, uh, I know the process of snulching. I could snulch you back into your original body um, if you had it with you. Do you have it with you? I just want to like slowly look back to Eridus. Is it still with Brick? Yeah, and uh, and it. I mean, if if Brick did what I think he did, he doesn't have lungs in it either. No, it would have lungs. It would just have my it, old lungs. That's my lungs. So that's some you weird. Tra- that's yeah, some we weird... He, he traded you the guys, lungs. You guys left it with Calvin. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that thanks. makes more sense. That makes way <laughs> more sense. Before yeah. you continue on that journey, yeah. Thanks. Thank thanks. You. Thanks. Hey, didn't we leave the body with Calvin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Um, Mister Mister Tor, Ivan. I I Ivan. Um, Ivan Tor. Ivan Tor. Uh, yes. Does 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 the body or the vessel, as you described it, does it need to, does it need to be here to perform to perform the ritual that you're trying to trying to do? Oh yes, of course. Um, well, it, it needs to be here. Alternatively, I I could move. I could snow chew into a different body. Uh, of course, it it has to be lifeless. Um, I have a question. When you say that the caster, which Sir Harvey, um, procured this togu, uh, how does one procure togus? Well, that that's certainly out of my understanding. But hard booze and fast think- women. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, humor. Again, very funny. Uh, well, um, definitely beyond my abilities, but, uh, maybe a Cause very this, high level. Cause this Togu looks like the other Togu. That, that's, so, is this... I mean, did I mean, just... sort of. Does this that's, mean that's in, like, true. another dimension, we all are ourselves, but with duck feet? Maybe? Maybe it's, like, another reality or dimension that he reached into and just yanked the duck foot. You, this Togu, great and fabulous out and brought him into this realm. I have heard some interesting rumors of maybe some new uh, found sorceries creating chimeras out of humans, and that certainly seems like what's happened to both of you. Edward. Oh, shit. I mean, yeah, that's that's really sad to bring up. What? I don't like that. What? I no, mean, I don't get it. What? Well, I, what, what he's, what he's. Oh, yeah. You know what, Darrow? You probably know a lot more about this than I do. Um, I, I was lost whenever he talked about yanking off ourselves in other dimensions. Well, yeah. Uh, so, DM, how much do I know about all of this? Mm, you've never heard of uh, splicing genetics. Okay. Of animals, yeah. humans, or or uh, whatever, humanoids. Uh, but you have heard. I mean, you understand necromancy, and um, it seems like a very far off idea that you could transfer a soul to another. But definitely something that would be very high level sorcery, if so. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I mean, I I was at the school for quite a long time uh, and uh, you know a lot of my friends kind of dabbled I dabbled in necromancy a bit um, 
honestly, something like that, what they're describing is pretty fucking intense. There's there's a lot of um, what we like to call f- uh, like slosh room in spells. There's there's a, a really high uh, chance that someone fucks up and splits themselves in half and then is dead. Um, so if that did happen to you, Togu, and this strange inventor is right, um, then I I would assume that we would need to find whoever did that spell. There's maybe one or two people in the whole world that could pull that off um, to it's, maybe get you back. Uh, hypothetically speaking, Ivan, um, let's say... We brought back, we brought you the body, the original body of Toku. Yes. And you snulched it back. Um, would, would Togu be back to normal or that, I mean, that Togu, that Togu has been dead for weeks. Yes. Well, most likely he'll be fine or he'll end up like Gook. And you just look over at Gook. He's like, Gook. Hmm. Yeesh. Well, I I'm guess sure that answers some questions. Um, Ivan, I, I guess I have one final question for you. Um, yes. Am I at any risk right now or in the near future if oh, I stay well. like this? Hmm. The body can only take so much from the soul vessel, and it's not created to be matches outside of the true intent. Your soul eventually will take apart that body. Uh, so yes, I, I, I would say that uh, you, you need to make him change at some point. But it's kind of fun, isn't it, being in different bodies? Look at those feet. I'm sure you can swim great. <laughs> I mean, sort of. Uh, I want to you... pull Eridris and just pull him closer to me. Um, what if it's not Togu's body? What, what, what if we put me in a different one? Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's it's your body, your choice. It, I'll let you um, know, it's a very strange feeling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to, like... Here, I want to say something in super, super secret to Eridris, and so I'm going to message it to him, but I don't want everybody else to hear it. Oh, shit. Plot twisting. While that happens, i just like to say, um, in- Inventor, do you, do you have much knowledge of sp- spells, or is it more uh, like tinkering and, and, and building and such? Oh, well, I studied the art of necromancy, um, but certainly are a jack of, of a few trades, for sure. Do you, do you have any, uh, like, rituals or spells you could impart on me <laughs> that I could write down in my, in my ritual book? I'm, I'm writing a, a bit of a compendium of uh, all of the knowledge of the best thinkers in Magna. Um, so if you'd like to be a part of my book, I'd love to add you to the Ross Brooks family archives. Who did you bring in here? What is this? Is he trying to steal my secrets? Me? Me? No, I'm. I'm not trying to steal your secrets. I. All of you just, rich people uh, come in here. You think you can buy everything? You want to just take over the world? And look, I don't want anything to do with you. You can get the loop right out, right now. Well, how about if I, I find I, I, some I, I, of I your inventions? Leave now. I, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan. Um, he's not. Just, just ig- ig- ignore his tone. He really, he really means well. I, w- I wouldn't be here. How much without money him. I have? <sighs> uh, Ivan, you've been awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for the information. Um, by the way, uh, that guy, uh, Vint over there, loves you. Uh, he thinks that you're the coolest. So uh, we found him in a in a in a hut, um, mm-hmm. or he came to a hut that. Oh 
Should we talk about that, Togu? Should we tell Ivan about that thing? I guess it doesn't really matter. We got the information we need, right? Anyways, we found him in a hut yeah. that had another Togu in it. There were like, we're up to like three Togus. It's ridiculous in here. But anyway, he really, he thinks that you're a super cool guy. And um, it, it sounds like he might have, a, oh, might be an orphan. Ooh. So he, thought maybe he'd make he a great apprentice. New apprentice. So yeah. good. So good. His dagger skills are on point. Show him your dagger skills, Vin. It's like himself. really stressed out, and he like, <laughs> tries to like flip it over, and, and he doesn't catch it, and drops it. He's like, uh, he he's still yeah. learning. He's still he's learning. Practicing. He's mm-hmm. a lot of. He's he survived all, a fight with all, an undead thing. All he needs is a little guidance. You and and it, and you look to be the guy that puts the guy in guidance. That's true. Is this true, child? Do you wish to be under my service? And then you just see Vince being like, uh, I, it, 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 "Yes, sir. It is. It's my dream." Mm. I shall test the boy. We shall see if something would work between us. Will you, Vince? Way to go! And I want to. I want to reach out to give Vince some knocks. Yeah, and he like he's he's like I thought I blew it with the knife. <laughs> I gave him a big oh. hug from behind. Congratulations! Now write some better fucking songs about the bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Man. Um, and uh, <laughs> Ivan Ivan looks at you, um, Togu. And like, Togu, the soul is split into five categories. For it to fit Ooh. into the body, you must find a body that fits your soul type. I can't tell you what your soul type is, but there's no way of knowing until you do it. But the five kinds of bodies that match the types of souls are either kinetic bodies, agile bodies, sharp bodies, canny bodies, or aghast bodies. Oh. Um, is there a way to find out? You, you said there's no way to t- find out what soul uh, I, I possess, but is there a way to find out what type of body I possess? Oh, surely. If you, well, if you brought a body here, I could tell you what type it was. But the soul is a finicky I'm, thing. I, I'm I'm a body right now. Ah, well. Oh, he pulls out his form, and he's like, you're currently in an agile body, and that's clearly not working. It's it's not working? What do you mean? Well, if the soul had correctly bonded to the body, you would be full of life, as it were. You would feel things. You would be alive. Huh. Oh, is there a way that I can... Is there a way that I can find out what type of uh, of body bodies are or is that something that you have to figure out you can study them indeed okay um could would you study my friends and tell me what type of bodies they are certainly um and he starts Eridris. walking Eridris, oh, Eridris. why don't you go what? first <laughs> Wait, why? I don't, um, Togu. You're not going to put your soul in my body, man. Thanks. Thank. No, I'm not saying. To, I just want to find out what type of body you are. I think you should go back uh, in the back room. No, hey, Ivan. Thank you very to. much for all your help. Iardris uh, is going to appreciate it. No, I don't need okay. to know what my body is. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I know what my body is. I know what my. I'm a. I'm an agile motherfucker. <laughs> Um, yeah, he kind of, he kind of looks you up and down and then like kind of brings out his monocle and he's like, it's an agile. Wait, what? Yeah, see? And yeah, they're always so easy to do all to that stuff to me in the back room. Not there much are up so here many. There. Yeah, what? Fine. <laughs> Lots of finesse. Yes. Just and I just swing the, the robe around. Huh. I am of average intelligence. Um, <laughs> so, 
so Jolie and uh, Tack, and I guess Daro, since you're here, just so you guys, um, you guys know kind of what has happened. Uh, Ivan, I haven't told them. Uh, Eritus is the only one I've told. Um, the uh, uh, I, I was. My soul has been placed into a body. Um, that is the body you're seeing right now, which is a, uh, it's a, it's a normal togu, which I have no idea where it came from with, uh, duck feet. Um, and as I'm sure you saw my, my asthma is gone. Um, <laughs> but so is any sort of lifelike ability with my body. Um, I'm, I am, I, I, I I'm, I'm basically undead. Um, yeah. Daro, that's why you, you, um, and I don't know if I even told you this, Eridris, um, I don't have to sleep. I don't have to breathe. Uh, oh, that's why you've been taking first watch. The only <laughs> way it's... that I can regain some of my life back is to eat the body of others. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that too. I wasn't going to ask you about it because you know tensions were high and uh, we had other things going on. Um, well, if it I makes didn't... you feel any better, I think Deb looks great on you, Togu. I think you wear it quite well, um, and also you can eat uh, my familiars as often as you want. I'll just conjure a new one. Wow! It doesn't. It doesn't work for familiars. It has to be a humanoid. Shit. Well, I will kill anyone you want. I just walk um, up and, and give Togu a big hug. And, you know, it, it, it's okay. It, it doesn't change anything. Just, you know. Yeah. Don't totally. eat me. But, but we, we'll, we'll get through it. I, I, we'll and, we'll and, get you figured I'll, out. I want to stress, I, I wanna stress too, like, I, I, it, I'm not like, I don't have cravings necessarily to like eat people. And, I, and I've, only, I've only eaten, I've only eaten, uh, I've only eaten two people. Um, Two people? Oh, was, I thought it was just the one guy. No, I I I ate the Lord of the Bay, and then I ate um, one of the one of the orcs that we killed when uh, they attacked that camp that we had like way back when. Oh, and I went and I went and I went I and searched for stuff. Um, yeah, I went. You and are... I, I I I consumed his body. So you you're a sneaky little sink sneaky little zombie togu. I I didn't. I'm not a zombie. I'm not okay. a zombie. Yeah, I'm in it more I'm, of yeah. like an ad, an adjective, like a high functioning zombie. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can do a lot. That's funny. Um, <laughs> I'm. I just. I didn't. I didn't want you guys to be a, a afraid of me or anything. Um, I don't know. It's been a lot. I've been going through a lot. We're not afraid of you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was the one that made the deal with uh, Sir Harvey to make it happen, so you know I got to that. <laughs> I just want to look at her just like dead in the eyes and be like, I know, buddy. I know you do. And while you guys are having this heartwarming heart to heart, uh, uh, I, Ivan looks at you guys. Um, and like, well, uh, now I don't want to interrupt, but I will say if I were to guess that um, based off of my interactions with you. I would guess that you need to find an, you need to find a canny. I know. do. A canny. Um, yeah, a canny. Yes, As the soul matches the body. They're cautious, thrifty, humorous, uh, interesting fellows. Um, oh, hey, that so strikes good. me as. That sounds possibly. like you. Yeah. The the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> I guess I'm just surprised that uh, that Duckfoot Togu isn't the same. Maybe Duck t uh, Duckfoot Togu is a total douchebag. Oh, I could see that. Look at these fucking clothes. <laughs> Look at my sleeves. Uh, <laughs> at the bottom uh, of your like nice robe is like fucking duck feet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it, it turns you. It, it says, 
I'm sure you can find someone. Find someone that's boisterous, funny, but also cautious. Um, and I'm sure it'll match your soul type. Um, and I, I mm. wish you guys the best. And I'll take care of you. Um, also, uh, I can probably fix whatever is going on with the cat thing. But we'll have to take a look at that. Let me do some research. Come back in a day and we'll see what we can do. And with that, we're going to take, uh, not a break, but just end the session. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> really long break. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a was... one-week break. A uh, one-week, <laughs> yeah. We'll be back in six days. Uh, we do have kind of a fun surprise. Maybe check in on the YouTubes, the Facebooks, maybe even the Twitches on yeah. Sunday. Because who knows what's going to happen. Maybe they'll show up randomly who knows man the easiest the easiest thing to do you guys on our youtube channel subscribe and hit the notification button it's the little bell button on there yep. get it hit that get notification it. button so you know when we post stuff and go live absolutely and thank you guys for like watching. maybe on sunday at a time at a time Whoa. which might be the middle of the day in Idaho, but could be a different time where you live. <laughs> anyway, love you guys, appreciate you. Keep watching, sub, buy some dice, and check out our Patreon, we'll see you guys. Thanks for swallowing, following Swashbuckler MF, I love you. <laughs> yeah, Swashbuckler, thanks for chatting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said swallowing. <laughs> we're at 10 seconds, we're just doing. Thank you for swallowing. <laughs> <laughs>